shaven head in just 90 seconds. You can do that? And the cleanup? It's nice and easy because it catches all the hair without getting everywhere. And it rinses just like that. Don't be rough. Be smooth with the Pitbull Skull Shaver.
Is this working now? Hello? YouTube's a little bit behind, so you may have, be, you may have already messaged. No, it's still not. How did you know what I said? I'll need to check now to see if you're memeing. <laughs> Ah. Ah. Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it, red does not mean no bueno. That's the default color of this microphone. Um, this. When it's off means no bueno. It's because when I record stuff, I separate out the audio tracks for recording. But you can't separate audio tracks for live streaming. So I have to swap it back over. And if I don't swap it back over, it's not got the right track it's recording to you can only stream to one audio track so if i've got it on the second audio track only it doesn't come up on the stream okay yeah this is a uh, this because of the like this doesn't look too big here but this is how uh, tall the door actually is so this ends up looking really tall so there's not much to show around. So you got this. <laughs> um, you got the outside. I made like net curtains because I think net curtains give a a cooler aesthetic. Um, because you get like a cooler shadow and everything. I like them anyway. And because they're partially transparent, you can actually have them cover more and it won't block out much more of the light. In fact, in a way, some are more like this. And then you just sort of push your way through, kind of like more like beads. So I could do them like that. You modded a whole city? Bro, so this isn't even mine. Uh, I was like, I have a couple of packs in here at the moment that I've basically been trying to avoid to use because I want to mostly make my own things, but they have come really in handy for some materials. And I found this, which is funny because this is literally how I did it. I wonder if I could find it. Um, city? No, that's that one. Where would it be? An apartment? No. As it's unmoving, where's all this stuff? Like, if I clicked on an asset I made it uh, six years ago. Oh, it's, oh, FBX imports, okay. Um, I have a plane in here that I basically used for that. Landscape? This! Yeah, look, this is my one. I made one for out here years ago so it's funny to see that a more up-to-date pack is still doing it the exact same way i did it <laughs> i like how it looks black oh it's because the fog so there's something i noticed with the fog uh visibility so you get this whatever something i noticed is the reflections are so jittery with the look look at that it's almost like it's reflecting like a water effect like especially it's really easy to see on the tv look at the lumen reflections when it comes to uh fog because it's not actually fog it's just you use this fog to give you to not make this turn black basically uh because it is still like a fog you know what i mean but i'm not actually bringing the fog forward i don't actually want fog close you're paying a really that'd be quite funny actually he noiser um is it noise though I mean, I guess it is, but I don't know. You can just turn it off and, you know, not have to deal with it. You do get a bad reflection here now, though. I wonder if, like, if I... Because this is set to transparent. The reason this sets transparent is because I don't want it to emit light, but I want it to have an emissive color. Because if you don't have an emissive color, it comes up pretty... It comes up darker, which I don't want. Immediately, I could just overexpose the... Um the base color and yeah, i probably get a similar effect kind of maybe i should add because i want it to look more overexposed why does it look darker oh wait yeah add oh that's why no my brain that that there you go I, oh, that's too much. I want it to look overexposed because you will be, right? It, oh, that looks good. Uh, because inside, outside will look dark, uh, lighter. Yeah, more overexposed because we're our eyes are adjusting to the interior. Like if I came out here, 
and we went like really bright as I like, come inside look we're adjusting make your background unlit I could do I mean it's really low res and it uses the yeah yeah I know how it does it there's an option for it but I don't know if that's going to be a lumen thing or not or it's just how it reflects uh like I don't know if I could, if it's actually going to do anything I can't remember what the command is though there was a command for that uh, I'm afraid right, the noise. No path tracing. I'm not technically. I'm not sure. I'll look at it at some point. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, what I do want to quickly try is like, as I said, the reflection. Okay. The reflections are coming up black, and I think that's because I've set the building to be transparent. If I instead set it to opaque. And unlit. Yeah, that's the problem. So if you set it to unlit and give it an emissive, because unlit only works for emissive, it will cast a light. And the only way from what I looked online to stop that is to make it transparent. But make it transparent makes it so the reflections would admit it. So instead, we won't make it uh, unlit. We'll do... Thank you, Panza, for following. Um... If I instead set it to... Because I, I could obviously reduce this. To make it so it's not blasting too much light in. Uh, 0.1 maybe? Like maybe here? I mean, I guess that doesn't look too bad. But it's basically emitting light. like Because the way Lumen works, if an object has an emissive on it, it emits light. Yeah, look. See it like emitting light over here? But is that a bad thing? I don't think that's bad. Maybe that is the way to go. Yeah. So it's giving, you can see it here. It's giving a lot of light, but that's just because it was reflecting black before because there was no uh, fog. So you're going from, especially like in here, like you're going from black, black to that. I think that works, yeah. Yeah, I think that works. You are correct in that recommendation. I assume you meant make that unlit and not make the rest of the world unlit because that's not quite how that works. So I assume you may, meant make that plane unlit. Um, so yeah, the next thing is where do we want this door? I think like in the middle, but it looks so short because of the rest of this. It, like, it looks fine here because you obviously got it lowers down, but then the ceiling raises and I've got these really two big doors here and I've got this small door here uh, and it just... I mean, that looks oversized now. Like, that, that looks ridiculous. Um, maybe I'm just overthinking it. Maybe that does look fine with these doors being tall. But the alternative would be to shorten these down as well to match the height. But then you've got all this gap here. I think it looks fine. For now, I can always change it later. We're not, we're not too picky. Probably should have... Um... May I hold that and then hold V? Oh, I can't. That's a shame. Then we'll make sure it's slightly to the left so that way when it stretches, it won't pull it away. Cool. Right, so now we need to figure out where we want that door to be actually in Blender. Uh, I'm doing it kind of a janky way in Blender just because it's fine. Uh, so probably needs to be slightly left from there. We're just basically cutting out the part of the wall and then going to match it up on the other side and delete it so that, and then start pulling walls on this side, I think. Um, I'll probably make it a separate mesh so I have more control over it. Make sure it's flat. Is that going flat the right way? Oh, it is. The green one's appearing, but it's not the one I'm actually scaling on. Um, and then just say, uh, delete those out. We've got a hole in our door. And then I think I'll just do what I did here, where I was like, I basically just... I'm going to make, because I could obviously actually make it a part of the wall and just do this and then start making the area I want. Or I could just say screw it and make this a separate mesh and clip it with the wall slightly. So that way, if I want to move it later on, I'm capable of moving it with ease without having to move a load of geometry. Um... So yeah, they moved. I might actually go back to the old blender. They moved the way you do auto smooth to so you can right click it but if i want to change the values you used to go into here click normals to change the values now i've got to go to modifiers and go 
normal. Normal edge. Smooth by no smooth by angle. And I've got control of this instead. I don't know why they moved it. It was perfectly fine where it was. I wonder if there's a mod a mod I'd plug in to uh bring it back. So some people were recommending, right? To do a hallway like this. Uh, yeah, I've wanted this really weird. So I, with the ceiling and floors, I've also been doing them as separate meshes. That's how I did it originally. So I've just been keeping with that. It works perfectly fine. So I don't really care. I'm not, I'm not really fussed. That, that's how I've, I've been doing it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue doing it that way. So... I actually kind of want to test like the engine. I'm not actually going to make a floor in here. I'm going to scale a plane down an engine and see if I can use the UV settings in engine to then change the UVs. That'd be cool, just to see if it works. Because I assume I'm still going to have floorboards out here. Um, I think that would make sense. So yeah, people were recommending doing this. Oh, I actually don't need these edge loops. Oh, actually I do, I do, because I'm going to I'm going to make doors on either sides. So I, will, I think I just... I think the way I'm going to do it... Because it's fine. So... I was thinking about this. I was like, oh, but it makes no sense to what's here. But then I was like, no, it does. Because I've lived in apartments before. And yeah, sometimes you'll have like an L-shaped apartment like this. And then the other apartment over here will basically be this shape. So it'd be like an inverted L. And that's how the apartment slot together. Um, so, because I was thinking, oh, I need cupboard doors here. Maybe I can use cupboard doors. But in general, I don't need to. Because we can just make the assumption that the other apartment is connected to it. It doesn't really make much of a difference. You know what I mean? And then I was basically thinking of, um... Oh, it also makes the edges already mark sharp for you. Oh, but it breaks the... Blender, why did you ch make this change? So what it's done is it's... Because I clicked shade uh, by angle, instead of using a modifier now, it makes my sharp... Uh, my mark sharps for me. I don't want that. Because now when, if I didn't want this to be sharp now, I have this mark sharp that I don't want. You know what I mean? Wow, yeah. I, I'm definitely going to install an old Blender. Uh, blender... Download. Actually, I wonder if I could do it on Steam. And make it... Force it to stay at a certain version. Properties. Uh, beta? Browse? I can! It's 3. Point LTS. LTS. What's LTS mean again? LTS mean long term support. Oh, yeah. I could always convert it to three point six and just stay on three point six because they they changed two things. They changed how modifiers are organized, which I don't like the new way that they've done it, and they've put normals in there. There's two settings that didn't need to be moved. It's so strange. I mean, someone literally sent me a plugin to revert the changes back. <laughs> But my uh, Blender updated, and now I don't have those changes again, reverted. Yeah, it's super weird. I don't like it. Should I lower the ceiling in here, do you think? I could do that with just a plane. We can change that when we want. Um, but even like in the bathroom, I lowered the ceiling. Because if we go to the bathroom, I think it looked weird. Having the ceiling. So if I wanted the ceiling to reach the length in there. I think that looks way too... Well. Ignore where the lights are. I think that ended up looking too tall for my liking. So I kept it at a low one. I might do the same in here. I might lower the ceiling to come to like the height we have in here. Which again, we could just do with a plane. We don't need to model that. Um, which means we could change it whenever we want. So I think I'm going to do that. Which would make this door make more sense anyway. Because the door looks tiny in here. But we can go into the actual hallway. It will look fine. And then we can determine how tall we want the bedroom. The bedroom could be the same height in here. We could have the bedroom. Uh, not like that. It, it really depends. I mean, the way the reason you'd probably have this lowered down is what I've got here for ventilation and stuff. Uh, so it makes sense. We could even put vents in there that it's lowered down. Could we? Maybe. Is this the right scene? Yeah. Make backup versions of your scene. Because, for example, I've changed the bathroom around three times now. I've now settled with this. I actually asked my dad, who used to be an interior designer. Uh, is this matching the height of that? It is. Um, and I said to him, how would he have it? And he said, like this. I, I had it so the toilet was here, and I didn't like it. 
my friends recommended it having it there but i personally didn't like it and at the end of the day it's good getting advice from people but at the same time sometimes using your own initiative can always be better not because it's necessarily better but because you feel more comfortable doing it that way uh but they they wanted it like this and i didn't like the i didn't like the toilet being so close to the shower um they also wanted a shelf above it like oh they also wanted a shelf here and all of them liked it i didn't like it they said only make it thin like this but i don't like the idea of sitting on a toilet and you have a shelf behind your head i think that's really weird um so yeah i ended up doing it this way and the benefit of doing it this way is you've got terrible shadow L lumen has really weird reflections at times uh causing weird shadow effects doing it this way means i won't really see that unless i look at it from this direction from the shower but if i'm walking into here and i look yeah the reflections you can see like the glass not reflecting until i do this and the glass appears i mean what's a good angle to show that you see that see the glass appear back but I don't think that's as big of an issue than seeing that. Because when I was coming into the room, you could instantly see that terrible looking uh, reflection. But here, I avoid that. So there's like other benefits to it as well. I think this angle looks pretty good as well. And it, I could always get like a low angle from the toilet. Like this. I also, I, this isn't my material. I partially use somebody else's, but I ended up making my own material using their RGB from a pack. Um, and I basically made it look more 3D using parallax occlusion mapping. So they actually slightly stick out from the wall, which gives them a little bit of a cooler effect. Very mi A very minor effect that most people probably won't even notice, but it's enough that I think it looks cool. You look good. You look pretty good. You look good, pretty boy. I was doing voices the other day again in chat. Like the one man, one mission, one desire. I do that voice in different ways, actually. Because there's like the voice where it's one man. But I also like doing the one man, one mission, one desire. Where it's more my voice and less of that super throaty voice. I think both sound all right. But yeah, I, I, I like doing both days now. And you've got one man, one mission. What desire? Which I don't think sounds as cool. I used to do like the Herbert the Pervert voice there. Hey Chris, want a popsicle? I got a whole freezer. How was Peter Griffin like? I said the bad, 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 bad is the one, the one, the bad, bad, bad. You got Cleveland, which is like, no, 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 no. I gotta stop taking my bath during Peter shenanigans. Anyways. Did you put hands over the ears because you can't hear me anymore? Because that's a little... <laughs> I'm afraid. So you've... Say you've seen them in insert word. You've seen them. But now seen them in... Wait, what? <laughs> I feel like I am went too fast on my conversation. I got confused. You could tell I was confused about OBJs. OBJs always imported on the side. I can't remember why. You probably just had to... In Maya, there was probably a tick box to import them on Z instead of Y or something like that. Where our FBXs were fine. But you could just tell I... This one's fine. You could tell I never bothered to fix it. Because look, everything I exported... <laughs> oh, that's not. Most things that I've exported are just on their side. That's not. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. Okay. Wait, I have my own plant pot? Oh, that's Dom's. Oh, right. Dom's are probably... Well, no, because I made the cupboard. I say Dom's are probably the ones that's standing up because he probably explored them correctly. But yeah, I've got a lot of stuff that's on their sides. Okay, this is all Dom's because... I, I, I feel like I'm lying now. Hold on a minute. There's a ton of stuff that is the right way up. I thought most of it was the wrong. Wait, what's that one? Oh, I thought that was a lamp. Um, I, The stuff that I haven't made now... Plants. Uh, technically, I didn't make these because I think the. I mean, I didn't. They're basically the same as this, but thinner. I could have made. I could literally go into Blender and make these myself right now, but I saw them and I was like, they're super simple. I could just make those. So I just nicked them from somewhere. Didn't make those. Didn't make that. I think that's about it. Oh, and I didn't make the fruit. 
Oh, and this plant over here. I'm the plant on the table. Oh, and the controller. Which I might make my own controller in, uh, at some point anyway. Because I, I, I do want this thing to be mostly mine. Oh, you call me pretty. All oh, right. Would be a nice place to stay. Yeah, it does look quite nice. This would be like the ideal apartment for a lot of people, in my opinion. It's just, uh, it's not really compact. It's just enough for like a bachelor, right? Yeah, I think that's basically, I think the rest is mine. So I think we're doing pretty good keeping it all mine at the moment. Uh, I mean, in the bathroom, technically, uh, I'm grouped again. Technically, this, this, this. This, this, uh, that's mine, I think. This, this. Oh, and these. Oh, and a to the toilet roll itself. So, in the bathroom. Oh, and that. These aren't mine. So, a little bit more in the bathroom, but I, again, could just remodel this sink. So, I didn't think it was a big deal. I still don't know if I want it to be floating. Then it looks like there's just not a lot going on underneath it. So we know, yeah, that's what I'm making now. Calm down, calm down. What we're doing in here? Uh, okay, so I am going to just guess. Oh wait, we only need one door here. So how long do we want the bedroom? That's a pretty big. Well, is that a big bedroom? I think I do want a little. Whoops, a little bit thinner. Like, maybe this big for the bedroom? I like slightly longer in one direction. I'm going to need someone to sleep soon. It's getting late. Um, now, where do we want the door? Do we think the door looks better on one side of the bedroom? Or do we think central door? I think central door doesn't make sense. I don't think I've ever had a door center of the bedroom leading in. So, either we want it to be towards this end or towards this end but they having it towards this end means having it not towards this end means we've got a lot of empty space here because it could technically in reality we could do this and then this instead could be a cupboard you know what i mean inside the bedroom so we could do that like a tiny corridor and we could do one of those things you know like when they have like a a, a table with like a mirror in the hallway right we could have one of those things there um, and then this could be our door leading into our bedroom. Like that. You know what I mean? So you get like your little table with your, like your little, um, little mirror with like something there. And then you lead into your bedroom. And then your bedroom is, instead of being a square shape, it comes down to here. Or this would be a cupboard. Um. Or technically an ensuite. But I don't think we need an ensuite. Because, ensuite, ensuite? I think it's ensuite. Um, because we've got a toilet here, so it's not a necessity to actually have, um, to actually have a separate toilet, except for the fact that it might be more luxurious. I mean, imagine an apartment with two toilets, it sounds really weird. Uh, like, single, single bedroom apartment with two bathrooms. Yeah, like I'm not even getting results. Supia. Shoo, three thousand pounds. Where is that? Oh, London. Of course it is. Oh, it's quite nice looking. I know it looks like an Arcvis scene. Look at this. <laughs> That's like the similar, just looking stuff. Oh, that shower. Wait, they have a shower, then a shower in the bath. That's a good idea. Free, free. What was that? Three thousand pound a month for that? Jesus. Uh, yeah. So, what are we thinking? Like, let me write Arkvi's bedroom and see, like, just some inspiration. Yeah, they're all very small. I wonder if we want like the wooden effect. That people really like doing wooden stuff in um. Oh, wow. It's unreal. That's that's so unreal. Yeah, like a little desk and the wooden beams. It's not a terrible idea. Door leading in. Some mirrors. A laptop. I could model a laptop. 
Yeah, yeah. Check DMs. What? My Discord hasn't even... You haven't sent me a DM. Oh, you have. Uh, wait, so what? You think a separate bathroom now? Do you think the bathroom should be there instead of where I have it? Balconies, bedroom, cupboard. Wait, what did you say? Ignore cupboard, okay. I think that's just too big for a bathroom. I want it to look like a compact apartment. That uh, basically that size is so uh, my bathroom. I I consider this an all right looking bathroom size. You could have a bath here instead. I consider this all right size. Whereas so that's what coming from here basically having that is like here about here. But let's see, which is quite big, and it also means there's dead space here. Like what what do we do here? I think just having a bigger kitchen just doesn't look right. Like I really like the bathroom there. I also like the I like like the idea of not making it a square apartment too, like having an L-shaped apartment. I like the idea of because it's just like a different type of shape. Um, I could have the bedroom here instead, and have it L-shaped like this. Was having the bedroom be the full remaining of the space with balcony on the same side. I just think that's too big. I want it to sort of appear compact. So like maybe have it here with a balcony. And have it L shaped. So here would be someone else's apartment, and theirs would do this instead. Hey, funky pants. We're making decisions on the apartment. I don't know. Uh, about what shape we want it to be. Like, moderate... So, I was thinking... Because I like the idea of a... I do like the idea of a hallway, too. Because um, I was saying... Unlikely you'd have a balcony on any other side that... The one that's already there. Unlikely you'd have a balcony on any other side. Wait, which... I mean, I'm not saying about... I don't know what you mean. I think you're not saying a balcony here, because obviously... Obviously, you wouldn't have it here because the apartment... The way that this apartment suite, in my head anyway, would be looking is... It'd be like a block of flats or a block of apartments. I pushed everyone back like four times. Uh, you'd have the layout like this. Like This would be the hallway. And this is just one of the apartments. It's a bit short. And this would just be one of the apartments as you come in. Uh, so if we pretend that this is like the end of an apartment, uh, you'll have another apartment here or here. Another one here, another one here as it goes up, right? So this would be like just one of those. Um, and I do like the idea of a second door being here and you walk in like this and it's that L shape. But then again, I don't mind this L shape either. Like, because this would be this shape, right? Which I don't know if you'd have a cupboard here as well. Yeah, so unless they happen to be the very end of hall, they wouldn't have a balcony on the bathroom side. No, 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 I, I don't want a balcony on the bathroom side. I don't mind the bedroom having no windows at all. Um, and it's just lit by um, just lighting. Like um, interior lighting. But if we do want, you need a window. Yeah, I mean, if we want a window, we then just do the reverse, right? I mean, I could, if I still want the hallway, I could literally just do the reverse, have the door on this side instead. That's too wide, however. Uh, have the have it on this side instead, like this, and then we lead into a bedroom here. But I do like the idea of it being L shaped, and I don't want the bedroom to be like I don't want the bedroom to take up all of this because I just think that's way too big. When when we've got the living room and kitchen. 
it, I don't want the bedroom to be the size of the living room and kitchen combined, right? I, I like the idea. I like the idea of it being smaller than the living room. So you've got all this space for the living room. And then that's why I like the idea of the bedroom maybe being here. Which having a balcony is fine. We can have a balcony to let a load of light in, like you just said. Um, but then we have the decision of, do we want a cupboard here? Or do we just want that to be the size of the room? Like, do we want... I grab this. Legally, you have to need a window, but... I don't think you do. I think I've been in apartments without windows in the uh, bedroom. Um. Oh, legally. Apparently, they do all require to have bedrooms. I swear I've been in an apartment that didn't have a window. So that's pretty... You know, then again... We're in the UK. That even council houses don't abide by law when it comes to uh, even room sizes. So yeah, if we talk about legal, you're right. We would, of course, please. It's terrible. Like if you look at um, uh, why I've never understood it right. With so yeah, we could have a built-in cupboard here, right? Like here. So the bedroom could be here, built-in cupboard here, and we have a bed here, and then the window leaking in from here so we have a bed that's why you need blocking out um so we have the bed probably i mean the couch is about this this big the couch is a little bit longer than the bed so probably about this size so you have this if i move it there you go. we have this you can have bedside table here we can have our cupboard so two options for this gap. We could have it as a cupboard. So we can also extend this out. If we if we wanted the room a little bit bigger in one direction, we can easily just do this um, and give us a bit more room. It's not too big of a deal. Because uh, I think, yeah, that does stay shorter than that size. I think that'd be fine. In fact, this is probably too big for the bed. I'm probably exaggerating sizes a little bit. Um, but yeah, and then you can have your cupboard doors here. And then we could always have like a little desk with like a chair on it here and you've got the balcony open up in the middle here and you have a nice bit of light leaking in toward wait where's the light leaking in right now leaking in this way so the light would be hitting the edge of this bed be hitting like here as the light comes in and then we have our door probably like that nice uh probably like that big so right here is it gonna draw Oh, that'd be more cool if we could do that. Like, it'll connect it to where I drew it originally. Uh, but yeah, you see what I mean? So yeah, have your light hit. So door here, light coming in here. And you'll get that. So the reason it's really nice having lights hit objects, right? Is because you get that, like, deformation where as it hits the object, it does that thing where it comes up the bed and then does this instead. And then goes like this. So you end up with, like, a shadow, ignoring this part. That, like, does that, which looks really nice. Um, and it could also, with that shadow, it could also... If it's like more like this, it also hits our desk over here. But another solution, if we don't want a square room, is one, make it longer. But two, instead of having this as a cupboard, we could always... Do this. This is terrible, but I don't care about the actual dimensions right now because I'm not looking it. We have like this, delete this wall, and instead of have an opening, and then you have a little desk in there. But I think that's too much. I mean, that's sort of, I think that's too uh, enclosed, in my opinion. I wouldn't actually mind it too much. I like feeling a little bit sort of like I, that's why I like corner desks. I feel like I'm seated in a loca, I'm seated in a location like a proper station. So I, that wouldn't bother me. But I think for an archivist environment, I think having it not look open comes off a bit weird so i think having cupboard doors here makes more sense right and then the desk being here because you want walk in you have a little tight bit here unfortunately but again we could say let's make the room a little bit longer so you've got a bit more of an opening um admittedly you could have the bed here then not have a cupboard at all uh, but then we need cupboard space. Um, I mean, we could do that thing where we have a tell, like, you know, like, I have a telly in my room. We could have a, tel a second telly in here. Or even a mirror. We could have a nice big mirror here. 
to make the room feel more open. Why is it not telling me when you DM me? Wait, so what's the... Uh... There, there. Oh, you think a separate... Wait. Is that a door leading to the red place? Oh, what? You think that separate bit should just be a cupboard from the corridor? And then the green room is just its own room. You don't have a separate cupboard attached to it. The only problem with that is then we need to add a cupboard to... Well, we don't, you don't need a cupboard in the bedroom, but, you know, it's like a... If you, you usually get changed in there. So this instead of this being a desk, we would need a chest of drawers and, like, a, and possibly a wardrobe, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, I think the door would have to come up a little bit to accomplish that. So I think the door being here would make more sense because then you could have your wardrobe here and your chest of drawers here. Hello. Wow, why's your name so dark? Floating Flot Sam. Hello, hello. What are you working on? I'm designing a apartment at the moment. The actual graphics of it. Yeah, it looks like this. Like a call it looks. No, um, breaking the illusion. Uh, it looks like this at the moment. But I'm trying to decide with moderate and chat. So if you've got any ideas, you can uh, offer as well. Try to decide with moderate and chat how I want to actually divvy out the room. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, it's the cupboard, right? Just be weird to have hall... With only one door at that point. It would be, but I feel like it helps separate out the environment. Like, I I like the idea from an environment perspective. Not necessarily for a actual living space, but from an environment perspective. To have it separated in that way. Because going straight into a living room from one room to another feels like it's too big of an opening without like a dividing feature. Um, maybe that's probably just me. Um, that's not like a common consensus at all, but I don't know. I like the idea. I, to be fair, someone else recommended a hallway to me and I agreed with them. So it's not fully my idea anyway, but, um, oh, here you go. I'll show you the other room we've made floating flot, Sam. It's the other room. Yeah. So I like the cupboard being attached to it because even if we don't make the interior, we just have a door there. You can use your deduction skills to say, oh, okay, um, that room is just, you know, the reason he's not got chest of drawers or wardrobes is because that's it there. You know, he'd store his stuff in there. So we could do what we want with the room without being limited to sort of realism by having a wardrobe and a thingy. And I think doing that would allow you to have more of an open space and you can have a little workstation for your little laptop and stuff. So I like the idea. And I, I kind of like the mirror idea as well. I feel like walking in from here, especially this angle here where you've got a nice big uh, window here letting all this light in and then well, our FFV is pretty small in Blender, but you'll also see uh, the, the mirror here and you'll get this nice like reflection from the mirror off to the balcony as well as the balcony view. Did you do the texturing in Blender? No, no, no. Texturing, a lot of it is... It, because it's ArcViz, a lot of it's tiling. Um, so most of it... I'd go hall cupboard then. So you think the cupboard in the hallway is better than a cupboard in the actual bedroom? I mean, what I could do is... I could just leave it... Like, I could make it not a hallway, but make it so we just don't have anything here. So Because I think that would still work. Like, if we go this right so just do this for the bedroom so we still have this different different sort of shape in um in the bedroom but and we could always have like a painting there or something just something that you see on the way in um and we could do that instead so that way you you get this pan around and then boom you start you start getting the feel of this room then you see the mirror and you get really nice view so we could do that instead which kind of achieves what we're both saying what do you think to that or we can do what you said, right? If it's a big open room like this, we can always have the cupboard doors here instead then. Whoops. And then we can have like a vent up here like we have in here to show that there's ventilation in the room. Um, so we can do that instead. So that way, when you first look in, all you're seeing is a cupboard. Because um, I, I want it to have... Because the problem is, is, I'm thinking about an angle from like here. Like if I'm taking an angle here, I don't want there to be too much we're seeing in this environment to throw off what I want you to be focusing in this room. So that's why I like having limited limited detail when we're seeing in there. So having it just have a cupboard door and having it as an open room like this, like I said, it kind of achieves what we're both saying, right? 
Uh, to clarify floating, a lot of my textures as well, I will use Mega Scan and stuff. Um, there's a lot of simple textures that I didn't use stuff for, like this, this, this. What did I make myself? This, 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 this. Like this was made myself, which if we look at the actual texture setup for like the net curtains, for the material setup. Uh, wow, it looks more complex than it actually is. Uh, we're just using the base for the curtains and I'm basically just throwing on my, I'm throwing on a net curtain pattern and a sort of just line pattern to sort of look like it's netted. Uh, I'm sort of adding them together that I'm basically just cutting them out um, and then using subsurface scattering stuff to make them look a bit more netty curtain. And we're getting like this effect, which I really like the shadow for. The main reason I wanted to do this because I thought the shadow came out really cool. Uh, I think that gives you a bit more values. And I, I still have the opportunity to say, oh, we'll actually cover more of them. And it gives you this really nice shadow. Like this. I think this looks weird now, though. But this matches up with the couch, whereas this now has a weird gap to it. Um, like... God, that's less more than I thought it would. I thought this was grouped. Did I just move everything? I did. Uh, let me... Is this not grouped? It is grouped. Wait, so what do I do this? Oh, what? That's a weird selection. Uh, let's do this. Deselect this. And make sure the floor... Floor? That's definitely selecting the floor. Oh, there you go. What's my... Oh, there. Yeah, so I don't know if this should be over more now to make it so it's more central. But the problem with making that more central is now a couch isn't central. DMs. Oh, okay. So you still... So you're saying to keep that as a hallway now then? And you're saying a small cupboard in the hallway and then also a small cupboard in the room and it, yeah so that way you get you still achieve the wardrobe look about having to make your own wardrobe because you just have doors in there but it still is a separate the stretch room a tad wait is that stretched is that oh, is that longer oh it is longer oh yeah yeah i mean that's that's definitely a possibility too maybe short on hall yeah i mean uh so Let's fix this back up now. Wait. Wait, hold on a minute. How did that... Am I being dumb? How did that delete that? No, let's fix up some of the actual... This needs to be fixed. <laughs> what brings you here anyway, Floating Plot Sam? What, are you, what do you do? Are you artist? Oh, wait. What am I doing? No, no, no. It's right. I just need to put the uh, door in it when I've connected it oh what what have I done wait can I undo enough to get that wall back I can't well that's brilliant uh, <laughs> boom 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 what is happening here oh I didn't actually connect it did I I just made it yeah yeah I just made it like floating inside it that'd be why which isn't a big deal. We could leave it like that if we want. It really shouldn't matter in the long run. What? Oh, wrong button. There you go. Uh, put our door back in. About that wide. Uh, where did you put the door? You put it more this side. See, do I want it more that? I mean, I could change the layer. Let me delete the door out first. I think the door's already too wide. So let's compensate a little bit there. It needs to be a fraction slimmer. So that's the door placement. Uh, it probably doesn't matter. If I'm having a mirror here, it probably doesn't matter if I do have it slightly here. And that comes in like that. Probably about there. Because you could have it here instead. But then if we have a cupboard here, you don't want the doors blocking the door. So it would make more sense there. Uh, so then we have got a cupboard door here. And we could still... I think this is still fine, right? What did you so you got a cupboard door here and your cupboard is basically coming up to here. Uh you basically just need this on the upper end here. 
and we could always like you said reduce the site at uh, the space here like that uh, so yeah this needs to be on the upper end because technically here would be this cupboard like a shallow cupboard and then this would be your main cupboard for your bedroom so we end up with a shape more like this that works that works i'm not upset with that that looks cool um okay okay double door would be good for hall cupboard so half with door that open double door would be good for hall cupboard so half width sorry that's his width door doors that open like a slot so double cupboard you, you mean like like two doors here you mean like this So you mean? Double door would be good for hall cupboard. Like, do you mean like, but joined? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was just lazy at connecting them. Um, you mean like, like one of these, basically, right? Except not as tall. You mean like this, this part here, like two, like a. Well, when you see salon, salon like more like that, like they slide, like like the what are they called? Not Venetian. That's blinds. A saloon, sorry. Saloon doors. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like these, like two, yeah. Is salon spelt the same way with this one O? Well, it's obviously not the same way. No, oh, it is. Yeah, I'm still worried about this now. Because this was like in wait, have I moved it yet? This was like central to this, but now this will. But now this was really compact over here because of that. But if I move everything to the left, it will all sort of lose its central point. Um, I mean, again, I could move this here and make that not feel too bad. So I mean, we do have a plug socket there, um, and maybe no, we can't really move the light anywhere unless we just do this. Which isn't. Isn't the worst thing in the world? I like having the cupboard with stuff on it. Or the uh, shelf. The shelves? Yeah, the shelves and stuff on it. Just for tight spaces. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, I like... It's like here, look. If we go to the bathroom, we've got sliding door. Just in general. like it's. Uh, I like sliding doors for bathrooms quite a lot, actually. But I like sliding doors in general. I, I've literally said to my mum, I was like, if I could, I'd replace every door in the house with sliding doors. Because it, you just save so much room. You don't have to have a whole arc for the door. It's just slide. <laughs> and that's something that the... Uh, um, I guess that's traditional Japanese houses, right? It's all sliding stuff. I wasn't in a uh, stereotypical Japanese house. Nice pocket door. Thank you. Pocket door. I have uh, so much work to do and this is too distracting. Say so bye. I'll pop in. <laughs> cool. Now, you ain't got, now you're not going to distract me from how I'm going to design the rest of the apartment. Yeah, you lose, you lose the coolness of having a cut of the shelves there. You do need space for it to slide into your right, but most of the time you'll probably get away with it. Like, yeah, you lose the shelves there, but I guess you get them in this angle now, which looks kind of cool. But I don't know if that looks a bit weird. Maybe I could swap it and put the uh, the shelves here and put the um art, put the paintings on this side. So that way you've got a nice opening here with some paintings. But then you got painting on painting. Um, I guess you could put the shelves here. Maybe? We could decide that stuff later. We've got the stuff here to move around. Put shelves on both sides. What do you think over here? I don't think they should be mirrored. Like here. Because I don't mind getting rid of the lamp over here. Do something like this. No, I think that just takes too much height away from the scene. I don't know. Well, pocket doors do save space. You need to be aware where you want to put the sockets and like, yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's true. Same wall. Well, see, this is what I said to people. I don't know where I want the door. Everyone said that they think the door should be here. But I could always just put the door here instead and that way we still have the effects of this nice cup uh, nice shelves over here 
but does it just look weird having a door that far into the apartment? Like, to get to your bedroom, I've got to come in. All the way over here, get through our couch, through here, and then we get to our bedroom in here. Like, it does make more sense having the door here. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I think this looks bad and it doesn't actually look bad. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. It does cause a reflection here because of lumen and that wall gets quite bright. I don't know if you've noticed that. Look, it's like a glow behind that wall. Interesting. I mean, I don't think this is my beauty shot anyway. I think in this environment, the beauty shop, shot is basically like here. Especially getting some of this net curtain in. I think this is probably... Oh, I can't get as far back now because the cupboard's there. I think this is... Oh, yeah. The exterior is too bright, don't you think? No, I don't think that. Oh, it's um, it's auto exposure. The uh, the outside of a scene will always look very bright compared to the interior. Like, watch when I go outside, right? We, our lighting's adjust, and then when we go inside, look at the lighting adjust. The only reason it looks dark is because of auto exposure. So now I, I I personally think the outside looks fine. Gets rid of hall, but kind of weird place to put. Yeah. Oh, right, it's all exposure. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not me doing it. It's just rendering in in um, Unreal. I almost said Blender then. Yeah, this is so awkward. I mean, it's a small scene. It's a small apartment. That's the point. So I, I want things to look somewhat compact. I mean, I could always do this. I don't have to have it on that wall. I could do this instead. Then pull like a little lamp here and do that. No, I don't like that. I think it's just, it draws too much attention to that wall now. Like there's just too much going on the window wall. Hmm. Again, I don't need to be thinking about this right now. This could always be something I decide later. Uh, door would be close to the front door. Although I suppose the balcony could be fire escape. True, but I'm going to have a balcony in this room anyway when I make it. Uh, so that would be the fire escape anyway. Yeah. Hey, Mega Cool, man. How's it going, man? I'm sorry that I said I was going to stream two days in a row and then completely ditched streaming. Uh, we don't talk about that. Except me just now, who was just talking about it. So, yeah, the way we're looking at designing these two new rooms with moderate's help is hallway into bedroom. And then a bedroom, like, mirror... Probably a little desk by the window with like a laptop and a chair. Bed. Cup. Cupboard. And because this cupboard is going to be basically like a small sort of one there, the bedroom cupboard will take up this room. And that way I don't need to make a wardrobe and I don't need to make a chest of drawers because, you know, you would assume that that would be all in the cupboard. The only problem is you need to make sure that the cupboard doors aren't going to hit the bed. But as long as they don't, because you roll out of bed here, and you just open the cupboards, and you're at, you know, especially if it's a walk-in, this could uh, be like a walk-in, and then you just have all your stuff there. So that works really well. Uh, we could always swap over, make the bed closer to the window with our chest of drawers there, but I think that's too close to the window now. I think being that close to the window would be a bit weird. So I do kind of like the separation here. Let's attach, or not, I don't need to attach, I could just cheat the system and do this. You don't need things to be perfect, because at the end of the day, you know, when I'm actually flying outside the environment, it's just a block floating in space. So we're not, you know, we don't need things to be perfectly uh, matched up, actually, when we look at the walls, because it's fine. It's one of those things that kind of doesn't matter in the long run. It's like making walls too thin without thinking about the wiring and stuff that needs to be inside them. You don't need to care about this. As long as it kind of works, it, it works. Obviously, if you're actually being an architect, you need to care about the stuff in mind. But yeah, literally when I uh, got a job, uh, when I got an interview for a company at an ArcViz place, they were so lax on that kind of stuff. They just didn't care. They were just like, yeah, just, just make it look good. Because I actually asked about that. I was like, uh, well, what about having to actually work out where wiring and where plumbing and stuff goes? Don't worry about it. I was like, oh, okay. Where's the hyper-realistic rendering and simulation of the city outside? Don't worry, that'll come next. That's, uh, that'll take like a couple hours, but maybe like 30 minutes actually. So 
I'm not like focusing on that right now. Uh, so the question is, how big do we want this to be? And should it match up? I'll just lift this up. Should it match up with how tall that one is, or should it be smaller? I think it probably should match up. Let me do something like this. Uh, we could always just delete it for now and care about making curtains later, or making it look right later. Because we, we might just we, we may as well just light up the scene using the exterior lighting for now. Uh, that's basically it. This should be a fully detached room. Yeah, nice. Yeah, true, true, true. I need to model all of the characters as well. You know what? That's something that people ask often when I make uh, make environments. When I make, when I was making the Simpsons environment, you know how many people ask me like, "Oh, when are you going to make um the, all the characters look really realistic? Like, when are you going to make all the Simpsons characters and have them walking around the scene?" I was like, "You want me to make all the characters, rig them, and animate them around the environment that I've not even finished yet." You, you realize I'm an environment artist, right? <laughs> Uh, see so that. I mean, I appreciate their enthusiasm. So if we just do this and just do a smart wrap. Oh, I need to fill in these gaps too. But this wall is probably too thick, right? I I obviously didn't have the problems of dealing with this wall originally, but now we do. Uh, I don't want it to be too thick for our uh, a little door friend. What is this line? What was that triangulated? What? Technically, I don't need any of those. I could delete all the bottoms and top um, stuff. Uh, I actually don't need it. So our door may need to be changed in scale, but we can change that in a minute. Uh, okay, so select all this. Make sure it's smart unwrapped. I don't know how much I need to scale it yet. Oh, that's a... What's, what's going on here? What is that? Oh, it's the underfloor. Do I have underfloors in this? No, I can just delete all those out. I mean, I just said I could do that anyway. There you go. Um, select all this. Smart unwrap. So it seems everything's scaled to about this size, so we'll just do that for now. So this should be good. Uh, we're just going to call it walls. Again, this isn't the most optimal way to do it, but it works. So I don't need to worry. Uh, SM underscore walls with bedroom. So there's, well, I, there's no hallway. Or there is a hallway. We kept the hallway. Okay, we just need a door. We need covered doors in the hallway now. We could always have a painting on the left side as well. Just something there to make it not look empty. And we could always do... We could always render the environment with doors open and closed. Or we could always make it so it's animated. We can go towards a door, it opens. There's a lot of different uh, things we could do to render the environment. Um, SM walls with bedroom. Export. This PC. See, I'm being productive today. Mega cool, man. I know the other day I wasn't very productive at all. Where's it saved again? Sorry. Um, dev files, projects, archives, models. Go into Unreal. So I'm not going to overwrite our actual thingy because I, I don't want to basically make the full decision now that this is what we're going to go with. So I'm just going to put this separately. Uh, mm, 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 mm. So I've actually got some hidden stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, so export selected objects. Otherwise, it's going to export everything. Now let's go again. Put this in. Make sure we've got combined meshes. I think everything's combined anyway, but just in case, keep that on. Combine meshes, import. Now, if I click these walls and re-import, why did that go darker? Uh-oh, something's not smoothed, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look, you can see it. There you go. Look how quickly I identified the issue and solved it. Pog. There you go. Oh, I almost aligned that perfectly. It's like, oh, okay, so the, already that frame is, it's bright height, yeah. It's just be a tad thinner. I did say that. That looks a little too thick. So, 
Grab that, grab that. Uh, admittedly, whoa. Wait, did I accidentally delete? Oh, you probably can't see it because of these. Oh no, huh? I'm gonna ignore that. It's clearly got something deleted here. Oh, did I just have, did I just make my other room too low down? Maybe. Huh. We'll leave it. I'm not going to touch it. What we will do is we'll um, make this a fraction thinner. That's also... Wait, I must... Did I pull something down earlier? It almost looks like I've grabbed a bunch of faces and I uh, edges and I pulled them. Because look, this is like... Well, I can't really see. But this is like lower. I've lowered this down. Is it the same in here? No, it's not the same in here. Weird. Huh. Okay. Very strange. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll fix it while I'm here. I wasn't going to. So all of this needs to be lifted up to here. Wait, but that's a... What? What have I done? I mean, this was modeled a very long time ago. So it probably was just me not caring when I modeled it. Uh, which is fine. It still works. It's just now that I've looked at it today, you know, now that I have a full environment, it's just, I'm looking at like really confused what's going on. So here, that's what you want it. Cool. Now that looks good. All right. So. You know what? I'm not listening to music myself. <laughs> I'm going to need to pee in a second. Da -da -da. Spotify. You know, it still feels really weird to swallow, by the way. So I had a tonsillectomy. See, that's very out of context. Tonsillectomy uh, 17 days ago. And like, I don't know how to describe it, but it just feels like there's extra skin back there right now. Probably because it's still healing. It just was very strange. Cool. I will go for a pee in a second, so I'm going to fix these doors. Uh, you know what? Because I know people will get triggered but because I'm intentionally not moving the tops. I'll do this just for those people. Now, I could un re unwrap it, but it's such a small amount that it's changed. Might need to change that one in a minute as well. Uh, let's export that. Come to Unreal. And... Cool. I need... This isn't actually my door frame. I could go make my own one. Uh, but I just did see it. They're so simple. So the stuff that I haven't made is either something that is better to get photo scan versions like these fruits. Or things that were so simple that I didn't mind reusing from a pack I've imported. Obviously I like making as much as I can myself. But there are occasions where I think that's not that big of a deal. Oh, I put a, right. I was going to say, what is that? Right, so so I've got these cubes here, probably to help block light. There you go. Cool. So I don't know if I want the bedroom to be a different um, a different floor, because what we could do is if we just all want it to be wood, is there's no reason why I can't just do this. You know. What is happening here? Oh. Another one of these walls. Yeah, these are bonus walls to stop light leaking. So I gotta just readjust those for now. Cool. We haven't got a roof. Uh how did I do the roof in here? Just like that. Cool. Just pull that over and reuse that. No harm, no foul. I don't want to cause any Z fighting, so I will. Oh, what the heck? I I didn't copy the floor. I moved the floor because I'm a genius. There you go. Slightly out. Boom. Uh, I need to readjust that. I just did. It was really nice the other day having a friend watch me do this who's like not a 3D artist. And he was like, wow, this is so cool. And I was like, yeah, man, here it is. <laughs> 
It's it's such a nice uh, feeling when people think the work you do is cool. Oh, oh wait, no, no, there is a thing that's there. I just need a door frame. Oh, I also need to. So I could do this two different ways. Uh, I could, well, to be fair, I technically could just stretch this across the entire apartment and hope it doesn't hit the floor in here. No, cool. And basically, I would probably need to UV map it again because they're a bit thingy now. So what I could do there is then go modeling. Oh, if I can remember how to do it. Before model. Mesh. Where's the UVs? Let's pull up my screen. Uh, voxels bake, model. Poly, poly, boolean trim, deform, thingy create. There is a way to do it. Am I crazy? Modeling. Create. This one. Fit pattern convert. Bake edit. No, no. Deform. It's surely not in deform. Model. Polyplay mirror. Polycart. That. What do we see? Blanked mesh. Mesh. Apply unify world. Oh, UVs. It's... That's why. Uh, so now if I go to UV editor. It, where is it? Oh, God. It moved them. Um. UV. How do I? Oh, there you go. And then what I could do is I could just change the UVs myself in here. If I know how to scale, I've not really used a much of this, a much of this, uh, much of this transforms. So transform scale one point five. Aha! Yeah, so I could always just, um... If I still wanted to be as thin as they were before, so if I click accept now, I shouldn't change them, right? Because I've not moved anything. And then if I... This is kind of a jaggy way to do it. I could have made all my floors, but it still works, and it means I could change them whenever I want, so it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. So, 1.5 there. What's that do? I don't... How do I apply this? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Uh, and now that's going all through here too. Oh, look at the uh, flashing. Uh, we could always just do this for now. And just reuse our window that was in here. So it's a little bit bigger in here, which isn't the worst thing in the world. We just need to make it bigger to fit. Uh, that has made me realize, though, I've not pulled this out quite as far, right? I know I have. What's going on? Oh, oh, I was using, oh, that's terrible. I was using the cubes uh, to help me make up the window. I did not realize I was doing that. So basically, basically what I've done, so. Okay, so I'd need to make the doors bigger. Again, if they're being hidden by, uh, being hidden by the curtains, it really doesn't matter. I love things being janky. This is hilarious. So what I've done is essentially this. And I basically built up my exterior walls by just doing this, which I should have probably just changed the model. Um, but I didn't realize that's how I'd done it. Like so. That way we get... Uh, these need to be taller and come in a bit more. Wait, what happened to the one I just put there? What? Cool. Because that actually matches up. This is so janky. So funny. And then pull these over. So these are just clipping with the walls. I actually haven't really put much effort into our... Uh... But that works, you know, that's a... That, that, that works. Uh, I don't know what to paint the room yet. We'll decide that in a minute. We could change the colour to what we want. We just need to separate out in Blender as a separate thingy. Similar to how I did it in here. 
just need to separate. For those of you who have not seen the bathroom, this is the bathroom. I wanted it quite tight. Um, but now that I've actually pulled this out, we could we could make that bigger if we really wanted to. But it does match up with this. The, in my head, the way I looked at it, uh, if we go and blend this, easy to see. Uh, in my head, I thought to myself that if you had another apartment, the apartment would have its door here now. And you'd come in, and then they would have like probably their kitchen at the front, and, you'd, and the rest of their apartment would be from here to here. So it'd be like the opposite L shape. And they have like dead, um, yeah, you know what I mean? Like it would just, both apartments would make a square in the end. But the other one would just take up the empty spaces we've not used in this one. Because the apartments would be more L-shaped. That's how I'm perceiving it. <laughs> so the ceilings are fine. Yep, yeah, it's got the textures. We need a door frame in here. Make sure this is not too thick. Oh. Oh my god. Oh boy, he's thick. Let me... <laughs> there you go. Middle was a little too thick. Oh lord, he's thick. Alright, yeah, so again, I've made this a little too thin. Honestly, the more I've done 3D... The more I've decided that winging it is just so much better. Like, just going, eh, that'll work, and not caring that it's not the perfect setup. Because I've actually said this before uh, a few times, but the last couple of years, I'm even more free. I've freed myself even more from the mindset. And uh, so this is, like, too low. And uh, what I like to say is, like, for example, the amount of friends I've had who... Oh, is this lower? Is that why it is? The amount of friends I've had who are too obsessed with perfection in their environments. And you think, why would that be a bad thing? And it's because those same friends don't usually have the motivation to keep making everything perfect. Or not the, this is like, if I can make a scene in 10 hours, right? And it's a little bit scuffed. Not all the walls align. Not all the UVs are perfect. I'm not t completely taking up, you know, good UV spaces. I'm not using the best optimization and stuff like this. Um, uh, it depends if it's for a game. If I when I worked for my company, I was very optimized with everything. Uh, but when you do that, so it could take me ten hours. But someone who's trying to perfect everything, yes, their scene might look better, maybe ten percent better, maybe only five percent better. But they will spend forty hours on it. To be fair, ten hours is a lot. Let's say a hundred hours, and they will spend four hundred hours. The problem is, is when they reach the hundred hour mark, I'm done. You know what I mean? They still have 300 hours left because they've been going so slowly trying to make everything perfect. When they get to the 150 to 200 hour mark, I'm working on my next project. They get bored and don't end up finishing their projects. Most of my friends who were 3D artists never made another environment after university. I'd say that's probably true. Like, I'm not making that up. Because they just were so obsessed. A lot of them anyway were so obsessed with getting things perfect. Some of them were just lazy. Uh, but a lot of them were so obsessed with getting things perfect that they ended up just not being able to finish things they were making. And it was actually something I heard from a um, an old YouTuber I used to work, uh, watch. And he used to say, I'm not a perfectionist, I'm a completionist. Which sounds like the same sort of thing because a completionist in a video game would mean you get every achievement. My screen's a little dusty, I want to... Well, if I knew what a hours, I guess I won't clean my thingy. Um, what was I saying? Oh wow, I just thought. Basically, what I'm saying is those people never finish their environments because they were too obsessed with perfection. They end up spending too long making things perfect. If you just want to get a scene together. Don't worry about making everything perfect. As long as it doesn't mess up when you've imported those models in and stuff like that, you're fine. You don't need to make it overly perfect. You can get away with making some things a bit scuffed and it doesn't matter. There was actually a... Uh, if any of you watched... Uh, oh, that was a completionist and perfectionist. Sorry, there's about two things I want to say. So a completionist is the way he described it was he would be obsessed with getting it done. He would not... Well, actually, no, he said he used to be a perfectionist uh, and he would not obsess with making things perfect because when he obsessed with making things perfect, he never got anything finished. And I remember another, uh, if you guys ever watched Digital Corridor, 
I remember when I was watching them for a bit, and one of the things they said was, uh, I can't remember the phrase they went with, but it was basically they would just make everything very scuffed, because it didn't matter. As long as it worked in the final render, it didn't matter how scuffed it was in the actual process of making it. And I, I think those things are really important, especially for starting artists who don't know how to even make things perfect, and they obsess with it. And I do know a handful of people who would disagree with this whole sentiment because I do know friends who are obsessed with making things perfect. But I personally don't think it's as, as important, in my opinion. And anyone else is wrong. No. You're fine to think that way. Should this be... Wow, the door does not have a rotation point. Really? Should I have doors in this environment uh, in it sorry in this environment in this hallway or does it not well that uv is not good uh does it not have does it not need one do we need a door to a hallway like we could always say no door here but door here you know what i mean and then have this one wow it is dark in here it makes sense but does it make sense no i should still be able to see oh there you go should be able to still see into there. But if I close this door... That's cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if I should uh, just have no door here and we only have a door here. But if I have a door here... Oh, I'm rotating it the wrong way anyway. The handle's on the other side. Oh, that's the wrong type of door. Can you stop auto exposure? There's, there was no reason... There's a dark area. Keep my exposure high. Um... That's... Oh, has it got a handle on it? No, it's... Stop. Why is it doing that? This is a dark area, and it thinks it needs to expose in the opposite direction. What exposure is so scuffed and unreal. Changed my mind. That's a tall door. That's a very tall door. It does have a handle on it, though. I want one with a handle. These are all tall doors. Where's the short doors? As you can tell, I didn't make these doors. You may judge me. I could make them. I don't really have much of an excuse not to make them. Except they were in a pack and it just makes my life easier. Uh, where is... Oh, so they got window frames too. I judge you. You always judge me, Megapixel. Oh, is that what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be getting a door and putting that on it? How's your job going? I do it with love. How's your job going? Do they have any positions available? <laughs> what? I'm going crazy here. What door is the one with the handle on it? Door stack, handle stack. Okay, so it... They did just manually place it. Well, it has a handle already. Oh, no, as a whole. Weird. So they're using this door. Aha. I do. It's going good, good. I'm glad to hear. My job is not going. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, keep me posted. Keep me posted. I feel like at this point, the only way to find a job is to have somebody who already works there. I feel like it seems freaking impossible otherwise. Can you... St Where's your exposure settings? You know what? Unlit for now. There's no reason I should be looking at this and your exposure should be changing. What's the charge? A succulent Chinese meal. I feel like that's in the wrong spot. I feel like that needs to be here, but... Because of the catch. Does it look like the front door? Oh yeah, it is more one-sided. I tried that at Future Labs, but it didn't work. Oof. Yeah, it needs to be like here. And it's got a bigger area here, I guess. The question is... Do I want it to be a door? Full stop. Do I want it to be a door? No. Do I want it to be a door? So it'd rotate from here, right? Yeah. 
Uh, set pivot. No, not reset, you idiot. Oh, bugger. <laughs> set pivot. Wait. Well, now you're just trolling me. What? If it's part of a group, I can't have a custom pivot point? Is that what you're telling me, Unreal? Because that would be preposterous, right? Okay, Unreal is, uh, is mean. Uh, so yeah, do I want a door here? And if I have a door here, do I have it coming outwards this way? I feel like that looks weird. I don't like that. Like, you're sort of close. Especially if, like, it looks, it makes sense for a real apartment. Um, no, like, you know what I mean? But for ArcViz, I feel like it should be probably this way. Because that way we can see straight in. Because I don't mind it being the opposite. If I actually had an apartment, I probably want it the opposite way around. Because that way it feels more separated. Attach. See, maybe. Maybe. When I have 92k Twitch channel points. Damn. But this is an unreal apartment. Nice. Yeah, it is it's extremely unreal. Uh, or we could have it coming in this way. So that way we don't even care about what the... Technically, the door's inverted now, but we could always fix that by going scale minus one. <laughs> there you go. Um, oh, and we probably want it to be inverted this way too, which is red, so minus one. There you go. So that way, these match up. See that? Damn. Perfect. Uh, so that way we have the door this way. So that way we have a bed here. Now, there is a bed apart the pack, and I will probably go make my own bed. Because again, I don't want to... Wait, is there a pet? Is there a pet? I don't want to use all stuff from other people's packs. For obvious reasons. I, I'm, I'm an artist. I want to make my own. I say this. That's all I see. Yeah. <laughs> bed? Oh, there you go. Was it a floating bed? Oh, no, it's not. It looks like it. So what? You'd have to grab this, this, this. Nope. This, this. Do I just have to place it manually? I guess so. Yeah, so I don't mind using these temp uh, temporarily. I'll say temperamentally. Uh, I mean, I can make my own pillows pretty easy. I have very simple pillows I made in here, which are fine, but I should make better looking ones for in here. I'll probably still use similar textures because it's a lot of tiling textures. But yeah, I will... Uh... I don't want to be using other people's stuff because I feel like that doesn't advertise that I'm an artist, you know what I mean? I feel like this needs to be, like, flatter. I don't mind it clipping with the bed a little. Oh, no. I don't know. I actually really don't like these pillows. I don't like the way they look. Oh, wait. Is this another bed in another pack? Oh, it is. Look at that one. Jesus. Uh, so we've got quite a lot of room in here. So, yeah. As I said, I really want the light to be hitting more of the bed. Um... We can decide how we're going to do that later. It's not got a, a, as much room as I thought here, though. Because either I can have it more like this, or... I need it to be more to the left. Wait, I guess center works. Because I want to have a cupboard over here. Like a... Uh, have I got anything for that? I don't really have any small... Have they got a small cupboard? Bed table. There you go. Again, I'm not going to use this permanently. I'm just going to use this for placeholder for now. I'd like a painting or a mirror. I want a mirror over here. I could always use this and use the frame. But mirror will help more light bounce around the room as well. We'll do something like this and I could just make it more like that. Pop that maybe here. 
And if we grab the mirror material I made on here, we can have a mirror in this room. That's not a mirror. That looks terrible. What? Oh, that one. Ugh. See, the reflections in Lumen are very questionable. Um, see any problem? Hmm. Yeah, I've not really got any mirrors in the packs that I've got in here. Uh, I mean, I guess we could have a painting there. I just want something there. Uh, we could technically have a TV there, but I feel like it'd be weird basically matching up another TV in almost the same location. It's not the weirdest thing to have, though. But it feels like I'm miles away from that telly. In reality, I don't feel like that's that far away. It is kind of ultra-wide. It should technically probably be a little bit taller. Yeah, probably like that. Yeah. Could always make it a little bit bigger. Ooh. Big TV. Um, I mean, we could do something like that. That's not, again, not super weird. Uh, now, you know what? Let's sort out the door. So, I could have more doors in here. More doors. More doors in here. That's a big TV. Love it. To be fair, have you seen... Oh, you can't see my camera. It doesn't look that big on my camera. I've got a massive TV behind me in my bedroom. How do I... Uh, broadcast. Camera. Background removal. I can't even see it. Can I just do this? No, I got... <laughs> got a huge TV in the back here. But it doesn't look that big. This is like 55 or 60 inch TV. In, in real, in person, this looks huge. <laughs> but whenever seeing a camera, I'm like, man, it doesn't look big at all. What was that? That follow by An Anton? Uh, background middle. Okay, so... Yeah, I'll probably have like a painting over here. Oh. Oh, wait, did I make these ones? I could break these cuts. You gotta break those cuts. Oh, really? Is it not? Paint. No, oh, that's some paintings. Oh, that's a very happy woman. Uh, like a bed frame. Interesting. Where's that? That's here. That'd be this and this, oh, this and this one? No, not at all. What's this one? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to make my own bed. So we, we, we ain't going to worry. We're just, we're just looking at placeholders right now. So it's, it's chill. Uh, these cupboards. See, I don't need two. I just need the one here. Uh, I mean, I guess there is cupboard doors, but I'm probably going to have to make my own to match what I'm actually looking for. How tall is the ceiling right now? So I, I think I want the ceiling. I want the ceiling, I think, to match here. So I just need to if we look. Need to pull that down to oh down to like here. Oh, but that makes it so it's I mean that's not terrible. Sort of like ceiling to floor windows. I don't know. Now that I look at it, I'm really not sure. Maybe I'll make the hallway smaller, but not Say all exposure, please. Uh, maybe I made. Why is that like got such a? Oh, because I made it the roof. Let me set pivot point. Uh, make that one lower. Bring that across to just work in here. I like the idea of the corridor being a slightly lower roof, kind of like how we got it over here. Look, so I want that to like match up with the size over here. Yeah, there you go. Cool, that looks good. And then, whoop. Put that back. Hopefully it's not clipping in here. Nope, we're good. And then we've got...
Smart UV map? Yes. Scale. Oh, because this wall is the back end of that wall. Right. What I would prefer to do... Yeah, 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 yeah. What I would prefer to do... Is select all these with these and the Smart Unwrap. Now scale that. Now export it. Now they should match in scale. There you go. Cool. We could have like something underneath that. Like basically like one of these. But not this because I don't want both rooms to look identical. But for a placeholder for now we could have that. Um, is there any other? Oh, books. Nice. So there are curtains. That I could use that are different looking. White, I do not like the look of, but I could make them black. And I could pull them inside the wall as well if I really wanted to. Then hit the floor like that. Slightly raise them up. We could use these curtains instead. Uh, I really... Let's get rid of that one quick. Hold that. Pull that across. Make it a bit longer. Unhide that. You get like this pattern coming through where you get shadow on shadow. Um, and then we could... Oh, it's slightly clicking though is the problem. It's because it's like more away. I don't want it to be like that. Or do I want it to be like that? Yeah, the problem is, is I, I want it to be drawn. Uh, I'm going to have to definitely make my own curtains. I'll leave it the way it was for now. Because, yeah, I'm probably going to have to make my own curtains. You would need a lamp as well. I mean, I would put one. You know what? I've not got ceiling lights. I always... Oh, I do. I've got these ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you know what would be good? You know, like when they have... um. You have like that one that goes above your bed. Well, only in like archivist scenes. You don't really have them in real life. Well, I don't think so. Maybe you do. I ain't judge it. But you have one like, especially if there's a backboard, which we don't have right now. But you have one like that's more like here. That's like in the center, which would presumably mean you would need, if you want it to align with the rest of the room, you'd have another light over here. Like that. So that way when they're on, uh, one, 0.5. When that arm, um, you get like that effect of it hitting the backboard. But yeah, I could use proper lamps as well. But yeah, I just thought I would have a look at those. I think that works. Especially if we want to render it at night as well. There's probably a lamp in one of the packs. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, it's on. Can I turn it off? There you go. Oh. Oh, it's just black, but that's fine. I don't want it on at the moment. Cool. I do that. And then we go like... Book. Put like one of these books... like this uh you could have the lamp off center if we want stuff there but i, I don't know that always looks really weird we could have it centered at the back though and then have the book like more like this so that way we've got something going on there um oh something's clipping with this floor oh did i leave the other one in here oh yeah i did yeah get rid of that one there you go Cool. I need a door there that I don't have at the moment. So for now, we're just going to put this here because I don't have an alternative. I basically want these there, but I've only got a four door. Four door. Uh, instead of a two. So I'm going to model that in a minute to 
be there. So if, right, right now we'll just do that. And this basically is a small cupboard uh, that's here. Like a, it's going to be like a, well, theoretically, it'd be like a shallow cupboard that comes up to here. Well, this is our wardrobe, basically. Um, let's see what other assets we have that I can nick for now. What is this? I guess we could use this underneath here. No, I don't like that at all. I like how Archibiz packs always have these like really uh, weird looking things. <laughs> I'm not going to put in those because, again, I'm trying my best not to use... Oh, yeah, rug! That's what this room's missing. Rug. Okay, I I didn't want it folded over, though. That's, um... <laughs> there you go. One of those in here. That looks really good, actually. Uh, have I got my own custom pattern? So they're using somebody else's. I made this one, but this won't work with it, will it? No, because it's not aligned. Uh, we can leave it like that for now. It's not a big deal. Whoa. What's that going through the floor? What the heck? Oh my god. Yeah, I'll make my own. I really don't like the ones in the pack anyway. And you know what? I think this one is an adjusted one I made. That's a flat color. I'll keep a... Yeah, I'll keep that one for now. Just to help add sight to the room. Need stuff on the wall. But again, I want... I want a backboard to the bed anyway. Um... Like basically this one, maybe, instead... Oh, I don't like the wood texture, though. Oh. Until I actually make it fit, that'd be uh, useful. Hold on a minute. Oh, the mattress is part of that bed? Oh, that's annoying. I thought the mattress was separate, separate mesh. There you go. This is so scuffed. Boom. Now we've got a backboard. Perfect. I don't like the wood though. This is my old wood that I used a long time ago. And uh, it doesn't look very good. Well, that one looks alright, but it's not the colour I'd like it to be. So we're not going to put it in at the moment. I mean, I could always just use this, uh, what's the ceramic, but I could always use a plastic on the bed. But I think that would just be way too white. So we'll leave it like that for now. Uh -huh. What other assets we got that we can take advantage of for now? Whenever I made an Archivist project and uploaded it to CD3D Group for, for output, uh, professionals who worked in the 3D or even Archivists, people told me that rugs have uh, to... Kind of messy because nothing is perfect. It's true, but I don't like that's fine. But I don't think folding over that corner makes a lot of sense. Like I think that's just I think that's too much in my opinion. Like what was it that one? Hey, whoa! I don't like the whole rug being folded over. It's also slightly going through the floor. I, mm, not a big fan. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I can always change it later. The candles, bro. These weird assets. Oh, these candles are cool. Wait, is that one actually got like a... Oh, what the heck is that? That's cool. Would you grab both? Is that what? It does. Oh, no, it doesn't. You'd have to lift it up, didn't you? That's cool. I kind of want to... Again, we're using a couple of assets from other people, but mostly I want to use my own assets, so... That's dangerous. No, 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 you wouldn't have that underneath. <laughs> right underneath the telly. Maybe here. Just like, something like that. Um, Look at these weird vases they have in this pack. Dresser. Oh, I don't like that. Those. Oh, whoa. 
Damn, that's huge. That looks cool, though. Oh, there you go. Let's get some paintings up for the time being. So one here. One here. Oh, actually, no, this one works perfectly. I'll put custom paintings in there because I think it'll look cooler. But yeah, coming across here looks pretty good. Make it match up to the scale of the bed. Nice. I think I'd make the frames wooden, though. Right? That makes sense. I got I got loads of tiling wood in here, right? Uh, yeah, that was fine. There you go. So they match with the bed. Why would I make things worse? That's that's it's in my own bedroom in reality. Yeah, it's um. It is like it's it's a weird one because it's true imperfections in a scene make them look real, more realistic but arcvis are kind of told to not do that so it's like a there's a huge backwards and forward on if you should or shouldn't do it for arcvis because arcvis is kind of supposed to be perfect it's partially the point <laughs> so yeah there is a, a bit of a bit of an argument between say oh no i didn't even realize i was clipping before i need to make my own bed <laughs> i uh it's, it's really simple. It's just going to use tiling textures. I mean, what does this tiling texture look like on here? Oh, wait. That's right. It's the floorboards. So, this one. It's also floorboards. This one. That's okay. This one. There you go. Yeah, so this is a good tiling one. It's very similar to that one, to be fair. So that's what I'd want on these two. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't advertise myself as an art biz artist anyway. I just, uh, I was looking good, looking good. I just want, um, I want some extra stuff on my portfolio. I could open one of these doors and have something in here. We don't need it. Oh, that looks really cool. Even though it's just like going into the abyss. We could have a floating shelf in there. I have no ideas right now for the bedroom. I just wanted to get the, uh, the bases of it done right it's looking good i i'm not i'm not against how this looks right now i could turn on this light to give our bed that like feel oh this is like clippy give our bed this feel uh probably like 0.5 and maybe like slightly tilt it towards the wall you know it's not quite realistic but it still give it a nice look so doing something like this and maybe tying up our cone Oh, wrong around. This. This. Like that. Um, so you get like this. You get it hitting this part of the wall, which is pretty good. Uh, and then we want like an emissive material. Which I probably have laying around somewhere. A white one there. There you go. So that way we get that looking like it's on. Giving us a bit of light there. I don't necessarily think we need it here. But we could put it on here as well. And then go 0.5 here. Wow. What? Oh, is it? Is it have I got stuck inside the uh, ceiling? No? The telly is not receiving any of that light. I'm, I'm not crazy, right? Oh, it is. It's just so minor. Wow. Yeah, there you go. So we can have these lights on to help give it a little bit more aesthetic, uh, aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing look. But like any house with new furniture and everything, uh, are super clean, nobody touch it. Yeah, true. So when I make it Arcviz house interior, I, I think that's a really weird advice for them to give you. Anyway, like I said, because Arcviz is known for being overly clean. When I was doing game art and being taught by people about game art, they was always telling me that Arcviz is a totally different thing because you don't, because in Arcviz you're caring, you don't need to care about, um, imperfections so yeah that's a bit of a bit of a weird one if you ask me uh we could have a ventilation up here as an additional just something on the wall maybe like one two off centered not even like i could center above the door but i think like this maybe where you just got like two there i could have something here not sure yet um 
dresser. I don't want to use other people's work. This, these are from PAX. I'm back. What's new? Uh, here you go. Oh, we should make it the same wood over there, to be fair. There you go. Um, they like doing that thing, though, like I said, where they do... Uh, uh, you guys probably know what I mean when I make it. Where they basically have these, like... It's going to be very stretched, so bear with me. Ignore the fact that it's going to be stretched. But you know, like that thing where so you basically bring the paintings forward i like how it's now behind oh it's inside the wall uh and you do this like half attached to here up on the wall and then basically you ba you make it match up with the bed as much as you can you'll do this properly in blender if you are actually doing it you know what i mean so this is kind of a very scuffed way to do it but you know like when they do this and it's like god i can't even see let me go unlit actually no i'm not gonna see unlit <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. Group. You know what? You know what I mean? And then this. You know, you know, you know what I mean, guys? You know what I mean? And then this. And group. There's a group of friends I talk to that every time we seem to go and chat, we end up just talking about our last company. <laughs> it's quite fun. Slightly move that. Uh, slightly, ever so slightly scale it if it's not. Oh, I knew it was going to do that. Uh, okay. I don't mind it slightly hanging over the edge. But yeah, you know, like when they do this thing and it's like, it's not going to work now, is it? No, I want it on everything. Boom, 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 boom. Like that. And you get like that. I see it looks weird, actually, because I got it back to the bed. But you know, like that thing that they do? And it's like loads of beams. Never seen it. It looks bad. You've never seen it. I bet if I write ArcViz, it will come up. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm confident it will. They love doing that in Arcviz scenes. Ah, uh, oops. Arcviz bedroom. <coughs> yeah. I try not to sneeze out my mouth at all. I usually sneeze out my mouth and thinking, oh yeah, look, literally the first picture. To be fair, the whole back board, the whole back of it's um thingy. But yeah, look. They do that thing where it's just like loads of lines of wood. Uh, behind it's also wood admittedly, so that's probably why it didn't look good. Um but like look here. I don't actually know what that's supposed to be, but they just do oh, I think it is wood. But they just do like loads of lines of wood or something. It's so common and I don't know how I feel about it, but it is very common. Yeah, like here. Casually just on the side of the room. Just a bunch of rectangular wood. <laughs> no, I don't think I like it. It it does create a depth for the room. See, I need to do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to do like a, a bit at the top. And then it sits between that and the window. Yes. That's what I need to do for the, win uh, for the curtains. So basically... Oh, you know what? Something I have missed is putting the curtain boards around. I actually have a corner piece, but you know what? You don't need that. What you can do, because we're lazy here, go for speed. You get it to touch the edge. Make it a bit thicker, I think. Yeah, get it to touch the edge, pull it all the way across. And then you go to this edge. Oh, technically it needs to stop here. But yeah, you go here. And you just do this. And you just have it intersect. Because it you'd never know. Nobody's going to know. But you, it even causes issues here because it's not perfectly aligned. It's probably my fault when I made it. But you don't need to do that. You don't need to have all these specific shapes. It's all extra work for no reason. Now I must leave Earth for no reason. Oh, it's actually not connected to the wolves. Ah, uh, you should move both of them at the same time. There's actually no uh, <laughs> endpoint date. Whoa! It's an abyss. It's not fully reaching it. <laughs> Did you do that here too? No. Let's pull it back just in case. Is that because I got this? What is this? 
Oh, that's the wolves. Huh. I guess I'll lift this part up. Do this. There we go. That looks better anyway, because it's actually got some depth to it. You raise me up. So I can stand on mountains. Do, 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 do. So you don't like the backboard. I think I like the backboard because it adds a bit more color to the room. Because like without it, we're using this one. I don't know. I feel like it helps with the room. I mean, if we give this like the other word, we can really tell a difference. I actually like that word more, like the one I'm using. You don't think the bad board? Because it also helps align the paintings. I'm going to probably make my own paintings here. You know what? I should render my scenes out, some of the ones I've made, and then make them black and white and look like they're like um, actual art. So if you think like that, maybe if I lower them, we actually do take up a bit more of that space. Are they called hoardings at the top? Hoardings. No, hoardings the name of a right. Hoardings are billboards. I don't hate the backboard. I was saying the oh stupid wall panel thing. Right. Okay, so we'll put the backboard back in. I don't like this backboard in particular because of the way that uh, this, I feel like there could be a bit more going on with it. But I still like backboard over no backboard. Oh, wow, I have to make the shortest bit over here. We'll just stick it going out. There you go. Stick it out, yeah, yeah. Damn, this frame is thin. Let's make it a little bit thicker so I can actually attack just going board to it. It's amazing that if you actually look at a house, how things are actually sort of like connected out like when you look at door frames it's just a bunch of like well it depends if you've got brick walls or if you've got like plaster walls but it is just like just like nothingness like if it was plasterboard it might even be like a hole obviously this isn't two-sided so it's not working quite the same way but it is amazing that you do kind of separate rooms out in real life the same way you separate them out in these kind of environments that's oh wait you guys wouldn't have heard that i need to pee He's messaging me. Yeah. I've got a pain in my tongue. So we've got a gap here, which I maybe think... Um... Oh, wait, you can hear my PC. Whoops, this whole time. Accidental. I played music very briefly. You're only supposed to hear lo-fi. <laughs> yeah, obviously this with the lights on. It looks cool over here. You get like this. Oh, did I miss it? Right, so you get like that sort of showy bit. Um, so here we've got nothing. We could go painting. We could go mirror. I don't mind the idea of a standing mirror, which we don't have access to. But as we've seen, mirrors in this, in Lumen, just don't look very good. Like reflections in general don't come out perfect. And I can't seem to get, hey, Atlum, I can't seem to get, um, have I got something called a mirror? I did material yet. Oh, no. Like, it just, you know, it comes out looking weird. like if I do that, it looks pretty good because you get like the re actual real reflection. But as soon as you do this, you see like all those dark bits appear. I mean, it's not awful. Uh, I was looking at those curtains though. Like I, I actually kind of like the way that uh, the ones I just saw looked. How come it looks good in bathroom? It doesn't. I've just put it in a really good spot. 
because the reason like look, look, look. as soon as um the reflection sees something that you can't see with the camera it does look bad but because the way that reflections work obviously when it's something you're not seeing with your camera it's uh, basically re-rendering in the mirror it doesn't look very good but if we look at it from this angle like from here look look how dark it goes but if we mostly look at it from the right angles it looks really good as soon as we look at it from a wrong angle like get close to it look although why is it black now i don't remember that looking that bad before let me uh, oh you know what i wonder if it's because well first of all i should have separated the rooms in separate meshes so i could always do that which could, it does help a little bit but if i do this does it look any better Okay, that works a little bit better. How's that looking here now? Oh, well. A little bit better. But the walls definitely look a little bit better. But still not brilliant. Like, if you select the bed, for example, and I go on it, or you, or you, what you're doing is you're increasing the cards, like the lumen cards, which is here. You t I turn that up to max, for example, and click apply. And it should make him look a little bit better. But it didn't look any different. But yeah, that's that's the idea. <laughs> like the rug comes out pretty good. I feel like you could you could see like I don't know. I don't know. It looks okay. I'm not... Did you make the mirror material? I mean, it's just a... Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Look, it's just this. <laughs> or if I, like, slightly not make it full. So we get, like, a... Party. We don't get... See, I think that just... It works better because you're not getting the full... You're not seeing everything. But at the same time, that's not what a mirror looks like. I feel like people who see it will say, that's not what it's supposed to look like. But it does... Having it slightly not full reflective does give you the illusion it's not that bad yeah i don't know we'll, we'll think about it we'll think about it now the question is what do we have over here i didn't mind a desk of a little chair and like a little laptop or something anyways i need to pee i've been saying i need to pee for ages so be right back Cut off my camera. Bam. Uh, let's actually get a nice angle for you guys. So that way you can admire the scene why I uh, thingy. I need to make my own bed and stuff. Like I said, this isn't mine. So I don't want to... I don't like taking credit for something I didn't make. So we need to... Uh, I need to actually make my own bed. It's not too difficult. You just drop a plane in Blender. Make it so it's wrinkled in places. And then you just... Um, solidify it, so, and then subdivide. Anyways, we're back.
I don't know why my brain was just like, why is no one saying hello back, like, like, in a chat? But, the freaking... <laughs> I think this is still too bright. This one I don't necessarily need on, but if you turn one on, you usually turn both on. Um, playing some music that you guys shouldn't be able to hear. Good. Uh, I mean, these doors... Uh, this isn't the door I want. Oh, no. This is the door I want in here. It's in here. I don't want this door. I want it to replace this. It's like... I could have something here, like a little table with a, a mirror or something. It's not that big of a deal. Like, I could just do, like, one of these over here. Have one of those oval mirrors. Like that. Doesn't look too bad in this one. Is that the full, not full reflection? Yeah. Well, you can see the change. What if I put it like just off? That would look cool as you come in here because you get like a nice reflection of that. You ever see those like ones? The mirrors that are like um. I'll have to make a model for it. Have a good night. Have a good one, man. I mean, yeah, I can have a thingy. But yeah, you know, like the little square ones. Like, uh, I wonder if I could do it here. Oh, no, it's glass room. No. Let me make one then. Uh, well, you know, I you should use inset. I always use extrude and scale on the face, but you should click it and press I, and it will do an inset. I just don't often do it for some reason. Uh, I think this part needs to come in a bit more. Like that, yeah. And then you have, like, the mirrors that do this, right? You align all of them and even maybe, like, make a shape out of them. So, yeah, you can, you can have the... It's, it's like a really weird thing I see, I've seen in houses, but, like, you can have a like, shape like this, and it's just... That's all mirrors. Um, yeah, it's, it's weird, but I do kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. No, I could do a normal unwrap there. Don't need to see automatic. Cool. The bevel shouldn't make a difference with the unwrap. Uh, the lack of edging might. There you go. Doesn't have to be a mirror, but I don't like calling it just square frames. There's a lot of square frames in my environment. Oh, wait, was that? Oh, no, a minute. I saved that in the wrong place, didn't I? No, no, that's fine. This is where I move it. Oh, but I wrote SM. Yeah, that's not right. Just put it in the base folder. I'm not really fussed where things are right now. Because I've imported other projects, things are kind of all in random places. 
Oh, yeah, I should probably have uh, made sure the scale is correct. I don't mind scaling him a little bit in here, but not that much. Yeah, then they do like weird shapes here. So yeah, you could always do that where you've got like the uh even like just this. You know what I mean? Like they just do things with them. I think having the long ones are cool. Like just this, and then we can make them a little bit bigger. Like that. Uh, I probably want wooden frames in them. Mm. I don't know. I feel like I don't want the wooden frames now. Kind of like them being white. But do I do something fancy? Like where you do like, ooh. You like just place like this, maybe. I think that looks too silly, but I don't mind the idea of this. Oh, look at look at that. Mm. What is the door frame actually on cards? Let's max out the cards so that looks better. No. Yeah, the door frames look terrible, but from this angle, it looks fine. And then you turn in here. Uh, then I'd want probably like a little shelf. You could have a hanging one. Just like here, maybe make it smaller. Right, so... What does that wood look like on the frames? Oh, that is not the frame. I don't know. I like the white frames now. Uh-oh. Uh oh, you know what? I've not saved it in a while. Oh, no. is that normal simple gloss about... Does that look too clean? Like, we could have our little plants and stuff on it that we've been using. I like the one in here. Whoa. Like that. This is a mirror. Make it really big. Uh, it's not really the scale I wanted though. I wanted like more like this. It's like one of those standing mirrors right here. And then you can apply a mirror material to that. I think that works though. Now that I've just used that as an example, we're going to make one of those. Um, I mean, we're basically just going to use this, right? And we just need to lean it back and then put like a back thingy on it. back thingy probably like here wow really oh wait, no yeah because it's not usually it's usually like this well no is it I don't want to lean it back too far I mean I also need to make it taller let's make it taller first I, I should do that before rotating it <laughs> There you go. Tall mirror. Don't rotate it, because what we'll do... So yeah, I don't feel like... Because I wouldn't do like... You would have it... 
I guess you'd have it flush on there like that, yeah, and you'd like rotate that like this. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, we don't need to be perfectly like this, though. It needs to be slightly tilted, um, let me think. Because we need it to be slightly rotated. Just a little bit, not a lot. There you go. And then I need to... Probably fine here, and then I need to place this... Flatten the ground here. Something like that. Is that usually what the standing mirrors do? I want to check the back of a standing mirror now. Because I could put it on the wall, but I don't want it on the wall. Standing mirror. Ah. Okay, that makes more sense. It's like this. Like, yeah, like this. being done this 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 oh and then invert no what am i doing this 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 yeah and then delete all this yes and the field of the rest of the faces in okay. you. yeah that's basically what that looks like but the only difference is i can connect this to here uh I'm going to mess up if I do that. I want to do it from the back first so I don't. Ah, had it yet. And then you get rid of these ones. So at the same time, so if you don't mess it up, there you go. Cool. And then you can basically bevel these. Now if I bevel these, I get a bit in the corner. It's rounded. Oh, that's not quite... Oh, because I'm missing that part. Oh, wait. I never turn back on my camera. we get a shape like that and that is apparently how it usually looks uh the only thing i'm missing is this usually comes up here uh i think it needs to be a little bit thicker on the top end i think if i just grab this butt down move it, it should work fine there you go yeah uh the only different the only thing i need to add is in here I need to add a material. Don't save it, because I want to save it as a different mirror. That's different material, nice. And we also need to come into here. We need to unwrap this now, should look like that. And this technically, because they're different materials, it really doesn't matter. Really, that's how you can unwrap? How would I unwrap this usually? I would not care about these front bits here and then it's yeah just that right oh and that should be fine yes uh i say that let's Cut bits off to give it a bit more a, a bit more UV space. I don't mind seeing a seam here. I don't think it's bothered me. It is at the inside. I was gonna say. There you go. So we'll just slide like this, and that way we've got those three materials. Three materials, three uh, parts. I will make sure our normals are facing the right way, and then I will export as an FBX. <clears throat> Oh, was it the right file? And then we're going to call it Danning Mirror. 
That's nice, but Mira. Coming to the Unreal Engine. Standing Mira. I forgot to increase the scale. It's also not in the right spot. It's fine. Scale around our uh, 3D cursor by about two. Two? Three? Probably three. I can scale it manually now myself. Because because it leans back, you don't need it to be... Standing mirror, neat. Uh, you don't need it to be... Um, as tall as the person. Because it's standing, you should be able to see most of yourself like that. Should be the keyword. I somehow completely missed what I was putting on. Uh, maybe this way around, so that way we're not getting the bad rendering things. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I do want it that way. Definitely use this wood on it for the frame. What? The material should be separated. I like how it's constantly the wrong direction. I mean, it works at the top and bottom. I mean, it says go for a mirror after all. Uh, I don't know. I think a standing mirror works is why. I don't know what else to put here. <laughs> really? Like, I could obviously just go with more posters on the wall. More posters, more portraits and stuff on the wall. Hmm. It's very... Oh, look at that glass. What the heck? Oh, vase. Whoa. It's random. Yeah, I can just start like that again. I should make my own frames. I could literally do one right now. That's a bit more complex looking. But I don't want it to be complex looking, really. Uh, I kind of just want them to be like this one. But I can obviously change the painting in it. But that does fit in that gap. Like that. But I like the simplicity of it. And I could always just put the glossy edging on that too. Uh, in fact, I kind of... What if it look like inverted? What's that? There, yeah. And then they have the glossy edge on it. No, 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 no. doesn't look good. I mean, I have a wooden edge on this, so it probably makes sense to just do that. What about one of those tall wood good message signs people will see seems to love so much? Positive message crap. What, like they live, laugh, and love one? I could do that. I mean, I think we're getting pretty good. I just need to now decide what we want in this room. Like, this corner's kind of blank at the moment. So, what can we put in there? I still... I mean, we don't have a desk, do we? Because I could use it, reuse this as well in here. Because this is an alright asset. Oh, we do have a desk. All that just fits. It's the right wood as well, isn't it? Yeah, basically... It's got like a white door. Right, question is, do I just use one of these chairs? I could reuse this chair, but put like wood on it instead. But I think that would look really weird. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, this is my chair. Yeah, probably just something like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably that one. Again, we're going to take everything in this room 
And everything I haven't made, I'm going to make my own version of. Because I don't want to be using assets from somebody else's work. We'll have a touch in because I feel like hitting that's going to look weird. We'll put our little light in there. And then we could put we could be like a little laptop psych. And again, we could have like paintings there. Just having stuff on the wall gives it a better look. Um We could use this one, but put like an, another picture in it. Oh, you know what? That frame is cool. Uh, oh, yeah, this needs to be high now because I got the backboard. Yeah, I was going to look at it. I'll look at DM in a minute. I was going to look at. um. Because, like, there was a curtain, and what it looked like is they did this, right? So there was, like, this divider here, and then they had curtain. And they basically were using... What's this one? Not that one. They're basically using this one. I mean, that one kind of looks better now that I see it. Because we could just stretch it out. And they were, like, doing this. So the curtains were basically pulled. Oh, but that ruins my desk now. But you see what I mean? So basically the railing would be up there that you can't see. Like this. I mean, I could probably do it like this instead. To make it so it's not fully over to the wall and slightly decrease the size. So it doesn't fully hit my thingy. That I think does look better. That is not central. How central was that not? Is it just where I've got my curtains? I think it's just where I've got my curtains, isn't it? So we want to pull that over a bit more. Till that looks central. There you go. So it's like that instead, which I'm actually all for. I kind of like that. Invert them where you want, like. Whee. In fact, they kind of invert the wrong way, right? I need to invert this one. What does it look like with this? Oh, I oh, know it works. Yeah, that one's the one that's got the thingy in it, so you can actually see through it. Um, all right, so that's yeah, that's the thingy spot. So I want to make it a little less transparent, but a slightly darker tone overall. Yeah, like that. So we still get the light coming through. Maybe a little bit less transparent. Like this. And then we can have our net curtains behind it. And it goes a really nice looking... Uh... The only problem is you don't get any light coming through at all from these areas. Even though there should be some light leakage. But... And yeah, you can have this and look. You'll get like it come through here. But the cool part is you'll, you should get it on here. Look. And it, it's just a really cool effect in my opinion. But now that we've got like the thingy here, we can actually have them up here instead. It depends how we want to do it. We've got the choice now of having them looking like they're attached to the actual ceiling of the windows. Oh, it's just the fact that I don't think we've got enough room. Like that, or do we think that's yeah too is that too much? Just don't get don't have those in general. It's like that. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's better. I do like the dividing here, though, because it helps separate some of the room out. This isn't going to have very good plaster texturing on it all, just because it's so scaled. I mean, what I could do... I wonder if it will work. Where's the modeling tab? That's not a good old EV. Oh, I guess it's because it thinks it's scaled, right? Well, it is scaled. Oh, well. It's fine. You wouldn't... You never know. You'll only see, like, your wall things when you get close anyway. That is really floating off the wall. I never noticed that. Oh, whoa, I put texture on that by accident. I would say lighter curtains texture was slightly less transparent. Oh, so you think lighter? Lighter? You think so? I still, um, in my head, I still want it to be darker. Do you just not like the contrast as much? I think it needs the contrast. I think when it's too light... Well, maybe not. And less transparent. It's like less transparent. So like that. So I could improve these now and do a similar thing if I wanted to. Like basically do the same thing this is here. And maybe put something at the top to do that. But I don't mind how it looks in here. I don't know how I feel about it. I think grey does work though. I think it helps match the chair up a little bit. Although you know what? It does make me think I just want to use a tiling texture on it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's got a full texture. I'll make my own at some point. So the things I haven't made. But to be fair, I don't care about those. They got. I just want to replace the maybe materials or textures or something else. I haven't made this, 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 this. Again, I'm not gonna care about the frames. Uh, I won't do the plant either. So basically, I still I need to replace those with my own meshes. Oh, wait, is that? Oh, I see what you mean. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Whoa, what did I click? What? Uh, I assume you don't be mirrors and you be paintings, but. Master has paid us. You know, I used to say in my last company all the time when people would ask me to do something, like just draw something really simple because you, you're terrible at explaining it. Just, just draw something really simple. And they'd be like, but you do not get what I mean. I'm like, no, draw something simple. Oh, they kind of. Hold on a minute. Let's not scale them. Or let's. One, one, one. Scale there. Keep them circle for a minute. And then I'll change so there there and then slightly uh, slightly like that actually you got yours like more here like 
this. Oh, you want to do round? Sorry. I, I guess it's because you're drawing from an angle. Uh, this one? Yeah. And bigger, minor, oval, because of the... So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gave that after you said. Be bigger like this. Yeah? Because remember, we've got the door there. Uh, we could obviously get rid of it if we want, but I do think it helps add to the realism of the room. We do want it to be uh, kind of central, though, so let's just get rid of the door briefly. Kind of like that, right? You want this to... You think this should align? Or do you kind of like it offset? I think it should align, right? Uh, this one. Nope, not that one. What's this one? No. The green arrow. Hold on a minute. Oh, wow. I basically perfectly placed it. It was like a fraction off. Uh, I think this one needs to be a tad smaller. If they work as mirrors, I'm like looking at the mirror now going, huh. Again, you got the door that blocks it off, unfortunately. Round mirrors. Okay, you are saying mirrors. No, I mean mirrors. Okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't read that. We've got mirrors here too. Lots of mirrors. These ones, I do like the square ones because it gives you like, I don't know. There's something about it. It's basic. But unfortunately, like I said, like you get terrible. I do wonder why the frames are so bad. Like the frames of the thingy. I need to make a better door here. I, I just need to make this door, but one of them basically. Offset the square ones by column. Like that. And we we'll just keep it by column. Yeah. Yeah, if I could get plain on reflections working, I'd use that, but I can't seem to get plain on reflections working at all. I don't know if it lets you with Lumen. I did look it up and other people seem to be doing it, but I, I don't know. Because I would just be using Play-Doh Reflections instead. They're a lot more demanding, but obviously, if they're going to achieve what I want. But you can see in the play -in Reflection. I think the play -in Reflections are just reflecting... Are they? I'm not sure. Yeah, like they're not literally doing anything else. I scan it that way. Okay. Oh yeah, go find me an image. Yeah, yeah. Look, literally. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, if I delete the alert, there's no difference. I'm really confused how to use Planar Reflections. I've got it enabled in the project. Oh. Come on, one. Planar Reflection mode. Yeah, I don't need any of those. And then Support Global Reflection, yes. Yeah, it doesn't do anything with it on. And this is this definitely the right way because that way he's like got nothing. So I'm I'm really confused about planar reflections because I can't get him to work. <coughs> uh. You should do the oh okay. yeah. Are you going to send me a DM when you find it? I'm going to quick look at this. <clears throat> Johnny and Tira haven't seen it. Okay. My mouse will let me come over to the monitor. This is this room. From the 
this angle. And from this angle. Oh, that's cool. So we've got like this in here now. Wow, it's amazing how orange this is because... Why isn't this more orange? Oh, I bet it'd be more orange if I did this. Ah. Uh... Oh, you know what? I kind of... Hmm. I mean, it kind of makes sense being a different color, but now that I'm looking at it... Now, now that I'm seeing the reflection, it makes that area look too bright. Yeah, this is that old scene. This is the scene you first left a comment on my channel, like my live stream. But I'm making it new E5 now. I still need to improve on the kitchen. And this is the uh, bathroom. There's some stuff I haven't made, but mostly mine. I even made stuff high poly. Look at the uh, look at the high poly. This it's all modelled physically. What's path tracing look like? Oh, I shouldn't have clicked that without saving. Can you make a row of hexagons blue? Hey, if I took out the texture and re import it in, I could, yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not. I just need to edit the texture. Oh, wait, do you mean a single row in the entire room? Oh, you get his path tracing. Yeah, let's not path trace. It takes a long time. Yeah, look, wireframe. Whoa. But what I could do, if I wanted to take a full advantage, I could be, do a uh, nanites on this now. Enable nanite support. Apply. Let's watch it work. Has I got nanites on it now? Oh. I can't tell. Does it show nanites in your wireframe? Oh yeah, you can see the cluster up there. Oh yeah, it is working. Well, this looks like freaking really cinematic with the uh, it only being in the middle. So technically this has nanites on it now. Well, I said not technically. It does have nanites. Needs some colour. You think so? Yeah, I mean, what? Um, You're like, well, well, it's not even done in a row, is it? You'd have to do it like this, right? Oh, no, you'd have to just do... Oh, no, because there's a line here. Hold on a minute. Oh, this is rotated. I never even noticed that. Yeah, that wall's, like, rotated. Oh. Which wall is that? It's... This wall. Oh god. Oh no. Yeah, because there's like hidden stuff in here, isn't there? You. You. Selected objects. Ah. Right, so now that I re-import it, it should be... Wait, which wall? Oh, I did the wrong wall. Oh, it doesn't matter. That wall looks fine still. What? Yeah, they don't match up. That's the only problem. Like, you should probably UV map them correctly to all match up. So if I took this room out, all I'd need to do is do like a... Probably seam over here. A place you wouldn't look. Probably here. Mark seam. And then do a normal unwrap and we just do that. If I do it this way and do it like this, you'll actually have the walls being aligned to each other now. There you go. So now they should look like they're matching up as you go across. And the only wall that shouldn't is right here. But yeah. That does look weird. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to really care or notice. Yeah, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's a big enough deal that anyone's actually ever gonna notice. But now, if I did want to make a row a color, 
I'm trying to think how you do it because it's tiled quite a lot. So if I were to do one tile, then do like it'll do like a pattern. Um, what would be the best way to achieve that? Not vertex painting. That'd be silly. Or just some random ones. I could do that. Oh. Thank you, Unreal. Thank you for that slight scare of freezing on me. The problem is the tile... Can you stop freezing? The tile looks like this. So I could do like here and here. And then basically it'll just tile it from there. Like I could select ones. But I'll have to export it separately. I mean, I guess I could use the blue right now. Let's see how that looks. Let's go into the honeycomb texture. The actual mask isn't mine, but the material is. Uh, now if we multiply or lerp. Yeah, I want to lerp, right. So if we lerp. I don't know what I'd need to lerp by. Um, zero. Oh, zero one's already there. Let's just see what the preview looks like. So that's whoa. Oh, just looks that way for a while. Uh, a way away. Looks like that. Oh, that's the uh, interior. I could actually use that to make the um, that part look a little bit darker if I wanted to. Uh, I won't right now though. I don't necessarily know if I wanted to even look like that. What's this one look like? Nothing. Okay. So we're definitely using the blue. All we just need to do is um. Uh, desaturate. And then round. What does that look like? Oh no. Okay, if I slightly. Oh no, no, subtract. So it's subtract. So I could just make a separate material, but if I do this, it would help. There you go. It could help. Yeah, so that'll work. And then we could use that's what's yeah let's select all those blue ones and then we could basically lerp that between you and then basically take this and then multiply it by the a color we want so if in this case we want this decals that'd be a uh, really time consuming you, you want me to manually place decals for each one that needs to be a different color is that what you mean because that's that's tedious <laughs> um Additional color. If we leave it a black, it'll help us. Just one uh, feature shape. Maybe. Leave that at that. Click apply. And then if I come into here. Oh, have I not made it as a. Um, I change that color we should oh well <laughs> I need to tile it <laughs> cool For that you could do something oh do something like that that's too much though right See, I have an idea to actually work the way. Too many, yeah, yeah. Because I, I like the idea of it being only on like a layer down here, right? And I'm trying to think because you could just do it with a local space or a uh, world space. I mean, let's try. Let's just take this material out. Um. Oh, 
they not? I swear I could do that. I did it before. I was going to delete a layer at a time, but okay. Uh, image, adjustment, desaturation, turn that down. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. They're actually the exact same brightness. Huh. Okay. So instead, we'll just go, um... Hey! Hey, Dennis, how's it going? My brain right now. I just want this. I swear you can copy a mask out and then paste it as a thingy, but my brain... There you go. It works. What were they were that time? Okay, and then we could just select, like, these two, for example. And then invert, delete. Delete the rep. Invert. Select. Invert. Delete the rest. And then we just have these two, and then we give it a white background. And then we can export that. And that then that's now only two. But they might be too close, we'll have a check. Uh single mask or duo mask. Duo mask. I just want to call it it's like different so it doesn't override anything. What you making? I'll show you. I'm making this. Oh. I love it when my PC randomly drops in FPS. I never get Unreal for that. Out of nowhere, just spikes for no reason. Uh, making this. There you go. And then you got this room. I will not take credit for the bed. I'm going to make my own bed. Right now, we're just using one from a pack. So, this isn't mine. Technically, the rug's not mine, but I could make that easy, so I'm not too fast about using that. Uh, uh, this isn't mine. This isn't mine. This isn't mine. So, basically... Oh, and this and this isn't mine. But this is literally... This is just a cube. I can make that easily. So, basically, I need to replace what I just... Those. No, no, no. no it's almost all mine. What do you take me for? I'm not a kit basher. I'm a maker. So yeah, I need to uh, replace the bed with my own. Because I feel like... I don't mind, like, for example, keeping this as a kit bash. Because it's super simple, right? If I go to make that myself, it's going to look exactly the same. Wow, look at the textures. I should probably get a better... Damn, that texture's terrible. Wow, I didn't realize how low resolution the texture was. That one looks better, Still not brilliant. Huh. I mean, you don't notice it when... You, you're not really supposed to get that close, so... Oh, yeah, I know. I know kit bashing is still valid for artists. Every artist artist will say to kit bash, but I obviously want to advertise myself as a prop artist, you know, so saying, oh, look at this artist scene. Oh, is this all kit bash? No, I made it myself. Oh, you know, that's going to look a bit better. Um... Because it also shows I have the addition of being able to make the assets and not just kit bashing them. This is the room we've done today. Which I think is coming along pretty well. Uh, again, I just need to change the bed. Oh, I left these in. We said not to have those, right? Because you get this cool effect here, but... I don't know. Because sometimes you have these, like, cover... I mean, can I, um... Can I... If I did this, what would that do? Oh, it does work on those. Because I could just put those behind it as a uh, thingy. But yeah, like, uh... You could have these cover up the window entirely. Like that. That's not terrible. But I think it, maybe it takes too much light out. But then again, I don't really like the image at the back either. This is just like a pretty standard image to be used for the thingy. So maybe I will do that. I mean, I could also do like a balcony. But the balcony is not very good detailed. It's just very simple. I mean, maybe that's all I need. Make them full white, not completely transparent. 
You wanted to be more white? Oh my god, you guys love your white curtains. I assume you mean you mean the curtains themselves, you don't mean like the transparent ones. So you want these to be more white. Like here? And less transparent. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait, wait, wait. Did you mean the net curtains or did you mean the main curtains? The net curtains are the ones that were underneath. You want the net curtains to be more white. Nah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I can't even change the color. Hold on a minute. Let's change the material so I can. You don't like the texture? You don't like the net curtain? Ah. Currently battling with hair grooming and blender. Oh, hair grooming is definitely something in blender. I haven't used it in years. I route's fine, but it looks weird in engine. Oh, okay. Oh, I really liked it in here, though. I like that it have a different look for the floor. I mean, like I said, we could uh, pull these up and put them um, like. Here. That should come from the ceiling too. A bit closer what to these they're not the best <laughs> i'll be honest i want to replace this with a texture this is a terrible texture have i just got like a basic concrete that's what i'm using uh you wouldn't have like a wood balcony you could have you wouldn't have brick underneath you that would be weird you could have brick on the wall Patio. I'm using materials from packs. I haven't made the materials myself uh, to miss the dinosaur. Maybe such texture vertically a bit. Maybe stretch the texture vertically a bit. Wait, as in stretch it left and right. I'm terrible with vertical and horizontal. Whoa. That's not using a similar material to me. Oh yeah, this is definitely not my material. So my material doesn't warp like that. Mine's this one. Mine look like when you move, it doesn't warp at all. But I wonder what theirs is doing to why theirs warp. I might apply mine instead. Texture I use it for the carpet. Anyways, let me oh let me do some bigger stuff quick. Um check this cord. Oh wait, so I forgot moderate was showing me something all the way down. Wait, what was you showing me? That's is that the cupboard? What's you showing me? Ah, oh, that looks really similar to... So you can have them wood. Uh, I don't have anything like that right now. But we could just use this wood as an experiment. Or we could always... Just to see how it sort of reflects. Yeah, I mean, that does look better. Do you think it should be darker, though?
So obviously it's quite exposed. Yeah, that could be better, yeah. I think when we're outside, it doesn't look too bad. When we're inside, it gets really exposed. Yeah, maybe like that. I think the railings probably should just be metal. Screw it. Let me go find the metal. Are you metal? No. Oh. I have metal. Can I just write the word metal in? Still. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that looks better. Oh, oh, some of these angles look really nice. I don't know if a telly is still the best thing to have there, but. This is a good shot as well. I like the doorways leading through. Do you know, you see what I mean though when I said I don't want there too much detail here? Because when I have like a camera angle from here, I want the focus to be on this room. It does look kind of cool getting a glimpse of the bed. I mean, maybe if I want to look into the room, the better solution would be to put the door on this side. Uh, it does, to be fair, putting the door on this side does remove the problem of having to need something back here. Right? Because that was a bit of an open. It's more expressive. And I guess you do see partial of the bed, which does look kind of cool peeking through. Actually, it looks like the apartment of a friend. Nice. Now you just need money to build it. What do you think? Do you think it should be open like this more? I mean, if so, we need to invert this. Uh, and actually make sure they are aligned. But it, it does give you a bit more of an opening to the room. But it, it makes this part feel like less like it's going on. But you can't. I feel like you can't have something here because you need to open these doors. I mean, unless you had like a second bedside table. Mm. I mean, like I said, you sometimes just have those like wooden walls, right? Where they let you just do this thing. I want to kind of see what it looks like, so I'm going to quickly replicate what I did earlier. Nah, see, if I wanted to do that, it'd have to be across the whole thing. Right here, too. The texture's not going to be very good, but we're just experimenting. I feel like it doesn't... I feel like it wouldn't work unless you did it across literally the entire thing. Lighter wood, maybe. But then it doesn't match... The, uh... You'd have to pull it, obviously, painting sword. Then it doesn't match this if I use lighter wood. I mean, we can have a look. The lighter wood we have available right now. No middle. Wait, as in just the middle have lighter? I kind of like the left and right, no middle. Oh, you like the left and right? I think that looks good. I mean, I'm not questioning. Uh, well, I guess I am, but you know, I'm not questioning your preference because I think you know, I, I'm not really fussed. The, the problem is, do you think it would need... Do you think it needs behind it to be wood as well? Again, it's not very well stretched right now, but we can ignore that. So like this, do you think it needs... Like that? No, definitely not, actually. No, no. Having the white background doesn't necessarily look bad. I mean, it doesn't have to be wood, right? It could be the same material as we're using for the skirting board, which is a glossy white. But anytime I see these kind of things, they're always... Let's just combine them all together. They're always seeming to be wood. 
different background with grey. So like the wall colour should be a different colour. So we say. Ooh. Ooh, I don't hate that. Oh, behind the wood, right. I don't hate that. You do get this, like, a really strong... You can see, like, the ambient occlusion, really. If I had it as a proper model, I bet that would work fine. Oh, itch. It's also really stretched, so I think Lumen probably is uncomfortable with it being stretched. So I'd actually have to make a model for this. Um, even if it's just one long... Like, just one rectangle, because then I could just duplicate it. There's nothing wrong with duplicating it. What was I going to do? I lost train of thought. I can't even remember. I was going to pull this forward. Yeah, I, I, what do you think to that? Do, do you like the white? Oh, I was going to put it into high quality. To see if it gets rid of some of that blotchiness. No, not really. Oh, you know what? What's my resolution right now? Yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, that's better. Oh, it's still really strong here. Try a colour back panel. Okay. Hey, you're like, I just said try a colour back panel, Steve, and you still didn't do it. Go all the way through to that wall. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I looked back up and I thought you wrote again, try a kind of pet panel. <laughs> Does that out of nowhere grow in a very big impatience, Steve? Back panel. As in just like a darker tint? Or do you think actually coloured? Promise there's no colour in the scene right now, so putting it as a colour clashes. Uh, but making it a darker tone doesn't necessarily look bad. That's normal, that's a bit darker tone, so it does bring them forward. But yeah, I think it clashes a lot um, by making it like, unless we make it brown and match like the. Uh, God, I'm terrible at finding browns. Make it match like the wood tones we've got. God, let me... I'm terrible. Oh, the floor color is actually a slightly different wood. Oh, this is really reflective. Hold on a minute. Oh, that's far too dark. Uh, throw wood texture on it. Okay. Do you think this texture or do you think I should? It's very stretched, but not terrible. Hmm, I don't like the lighter. I think it sticks out too much. Darker. Eh, that is just black because of the uh, dividers. Again, I've not made proper models for it. This is purely just to check what it looks like. I don't know. I think it just... Just having it as a darker tone, I think. I think I like that, and I basically dislike everything else. Just this. I think that works. And then, like, you can make it brighter if you don't want to stick out as much. So, basically, you just want it to be, like, there, just so you could see it.
the difficult one. I probably should click with the Lord. Jesus. Good shot from here, though. He's messaging me. Oh, my brother wants a uh, thingy. A, um... A, you know, like one of those sitting treadmills. Like the ones... Sitting treadmills? Like, the not sitting treadmills. The ones that doesn't have the whole, like... I don't want to show you it because it, you'll see my account. But, um... Yeah. Not not sitting treadmill. <laughs> uh, let, let me get a picture. What what are, what are these doohickeys? You know the ones with, that doesn't have like the backboard. Have they got a name? A compact design treadmill. Yeah, I think they're pretty cool because uh, you just can get your steps on them. And they're so they're like it's you know look how small it is. You could put that anywhere. You could put that in here. I do like that at the back. I'm not against it. May these do need a bevel. I do need to make an actual model for it, I think. Seeing those good for stand standing desk. Yeah. Yeah, because you imagine it's like while working. <laughs> I hate the idea of a standing desk though. I think that sounds so uncomfortable. Yeah, this station's just not brilliant. This isn't even my one. You're not so you're not gonna get that close. It probably like I said, it probably doesn't matter. High speed running. Could you imagine? Nothing to hold on to while running faster. One of those would be horrible. Let's actually make a model for this. I mean, it's very, very difficult to make a model for this, you know? Done. Uh, I'll probably scale it, like test it in engine, see how tall it is, because I kind of want it to be the exact scale. Because that will help with uh, Lumen actually picking up the shape. I probably could just delete the back, I'd say, and then we'll just do a bevel here. Just a small one, and then we'll put on a... Uh, a weight if normal like that so you get this like small bevel it was like this uh and then obviously the unwrap just because it's using tiling textures it really doesn't matter how it's, it's better to have it like this than to you know put a ton of edges in it mark the seam and then do something like this because we don't actually care about how much uv space we're taking because we're just using tiling textures and again we're probably just going to put gloss in it anyway oh whoops uh Whoa, thingy. Oh, that's nice spot thingy. Uh, sorry, that's nice spot thingy. I've just got a capital H. Oh, where am I? Uh, oh, I need to sneeze. <laughs> it's coming. I've been sneezing a lot tonight. <sighs> what song is about to play? This has to be a... Uh... Yeah, a doom song. That took a minute and nothing was happening. That's a good song. You guys can't hear it, I know, but AFK for a bit. I might be ending soon, so <laughs> be wary. How long will I be streaming? I've not even got my stream up. I might do the bed off stream just because I'm going to probably be sitting there doing tons of sims of moving the thingy. Like, for those of you who don't know what it would look like, um, let's save this first. Uh, like this model. Yeah. Uh, oh, thingy. So basically, you just get the shape of your bed fine and then you do you get a plane actually it's not fine we want the edges to be soft for when it goes over the edges all 
All right, then we get your plane. like about 80 let's make me some squares yep and then you go clop i missed it cloth i'm in the wrong menu right here cloth uh when you click play you won't do anything what huh Well, the stream is so far behind. Wait, that should just work. Is New Blender different? Gravity's on. Huh? I don't know, Okay, what? Why is that working? What? No, no, no. <laughs> Turn it off for this. Why is what well, I'm actually bamboozled? Oh, I ain't got cloth in it. Wait. Okay, it will go through it in a moment. What? Why was that? Um, okay, we're gonna ignore that. Pretend that never happened. Uh, eighty, hundred. Cool. And then we want to set you to collision. to make your lot a lot wider and really never glitch on that uh, kind of we need to give you a lot more friction whatever that is we want it to have yeah, Partly why I want to see it on stream, just because I can't remember if it is. I usually have to look it up. Tension, compression, shear, bending, tension, compression, shear, bending. Should have a better quality. Go ahead. We need a lot of friction. We also need it to be, I think, a little bit. Oh, because there's bit pillows there for it to bend around to. But we want to fold it back. And I'm trying to think the best way to do that. Like, I, I've seen a lot of people do it. But I can't remember how I would do it. Because you could uh, just sort of move it around. And then hope when it falls you get like a... Eh, not really. Oh, it's a little bit off center. You're getting like nice wrinkles around here. There's definitely better ways to do it. I don't know if I'd need to use weights and stuff, which I might do. But where's the internal? Uh, where's the friction? Self collision. Can I type in? Oh, here, friction. Well, that's self collision friction. Is it not called friction anymore? I mean, unless that counts. That's sliding. Hold on a minute. Uh, cloth. Cloth sliding off object blender. How do you do sliding with cloth sims? Soft body cloth. And then friction. They've definitely changed it then. Where is it under? Right here. Friction. Wait, no, that's self... Collision. Distance impulse clamping. They've moved it. Man. That's annoying. What is it called now? You guys messaged. I, I've kind of been neglecting reading chat. I've not seen any messages. It's fine. Uh, 
Uh, let's do the last year, I guess. Collision issue for both. Collision simulation glitching. Blender keeps crashing. How to create... Uh, I mean, it used to just be called friction. I'm like a little bit bamboozled now. Stiffness? No, it's none of those. It's just collision. Distance impulse clamping. Is that something different? Is that what collision is now called? No, that's sliding instantly. This is annoying. I'm so, I don't I'm really annoyed that Blender has moved so many things. It's triggering me so hard. Damping? It, maybe, but damping it never used to be damping. Cuz damping was a whole different thing. Uh Damping. So tension, tension, compression, shear, bending. If we turn all these up to like 50. Whoa. Okay. Maybe it's stiffness. Tension, compression, shear, bending. No, I don't know. I'm literally going to go download an old blender just so I have... Just so I know what I'm doing. I don't know if 3.6 had it like this. We actually got to check. They've moved so much in the new blender that it's, it's triggering me so hard. Because people who've been using blender for decades now have had the stuff they used to moved i, I don't like software updating at all is it i really don't like software updating oh no i've probably broken it now what's going on <laughs> what that looks kind of funny, though. I, I kind of like that. Let me, uh... Oh, look how wiggly it is. Whoa. Let me, uh... uh have they changed where this is? Vertices smooth? Smooth vertices. Smooth vertices. That looks kind of cool. I mean, if we then go... Stop searching. Solidify. Oh, offset. Whoops. No, no, I don't want offset. Boom. It looks like guts. That's so folded over each itself. It's hilarious. That doesn't look too bad like that, actually. Solidify it, make it a nice thick duvet. Uh, subdivide it afterwards. Ah. Not quite. Oh, that's the offset. Wait, I'm surprised it's looking like that. Because that should look like this. And then when you subdivide it, should that not... Keeping those edges quite sharp. I'm looking. I, I want to see old blender now. I think the touch made it kind of elastic. Yeah, I think it did. It just looks funny. I'm just messing around with it now. Why is subdivide not subdividing those corners? Why is it keeping those corners so sharp? What? Am I crazy? Oh, whoops, I kind of didn't mean to do that. I'm going to do this and then say smooth. There used to be a smooth slider. I was here. I... I mean, like I said, I'll, I'll look at video and see this because I can't fully remember it. But yeah, you basically just do something like this and you end up with a pretty decent one. Uh, this is okay. Obviously, it's not brilliant, but I think you just unwrap it and then put like a uh, basic material on it. But anyways, I want to look at old Blender. Where is it? I just installed it. Blender 3.6. 
There's a lot of things I want to download Old Blender for, so I'm fine downloading this. Like the modifier shelf looks like this again. And being able to smooth normals looks like this again. Which is two really big, really big pluses that I want to keep 3.6 for. Uh, let's check if it's got the friction. Because that might have been changed a while ago. I can't really say much. Uh, collision. Oh, yeah. There's, oh, wait. No, yeah. Self collision. There's no friction here anymore. Okay. So, cloth slider. Uh, cloth sim sliding blender. Prevent cloth from sliding. 2017. They're just going to say the same thing. Yeah, just friction. One year ago. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, no, he didn't really show anything. Oh, he's, he's this guy's video has got the friction button. And the collision, it's got soft body and claw. Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. There's object collision, self collision. Nobody's asking in the comment section about it. This is boggling my mind. Oh my god, he's taking five minutes just to click simulate. This guy doesn't even talk about friction. I'm, this is driving me mental. I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up in a bit off stream or maybe tomorrow. It looks funny that. It literally just looks like really weird. Anyways, get rid of that one. Yeah, I basically just want to do this. So I'm going to have to just do, I'm going to fold it over and have to do loads of wrinkles. It's actually not a great texture to begin with, so it's fine. Because I, uh, I'll probably just use like a tiling texture on it, like something like this, uh, but a bit more tiled. Like the wrinkles are a bit too big. Oh, is that all? Oh, there's definitely normal maps rendered on that. I'm just gonna have mine high poly because I'm not gonna bother with normal maps. Yeah, same with that. That's definitely a uh, thingy. Okay, uh, we're gonna. Oh wait, no, no. Let me do this, these balls quick. Redo them with an actual mesh, and then we're gonna call it a day. Wall thingy. Yeah, 
made it a little bit big. But let's check the scale in here. I'm more worried about uh, how tall it is. Okay. Oh, why is it not finding my... <laughs> no, I need Blender. Like, the Blender from... Uh, Steam, which is like... It doesn't find recent projects. Uh, half the size. Then make it a bit smaller. Uh, save. Set size. Uh, and unwrap. a little bit too tall i know i could scale it in engine but i want to get it perfect to when i put it in so that way there won't be any warping i don't mind it going through the wall a little bit but yeah that's good and we've got like this slightly smooth corner which is better than a sharp corner or sharp edge Keep, whoa. Well, let's not put it in this setting. Let's go epic. Cool. Slightly darker walls. They're actually very reflective, which I don't care much for. There you go. I don't want it to collide with the wall. No, do I? Do I want to leave like a little peak? I'm not sure. Uh, so now I want to get like a perfect, like perfectly move it. So. So let's actually have this at a nice flat value, like 180, 185. And then we'll do 195, one, uh, 200. So we'll do 15 at a time. Mm, mm, no, that's too much. 195. That's not enough of a gap, but 200 is too much of a gap. I mean, is it? Yeah, it's too much of a gap. Man, I was hoping I could do a really neat number, like 15, 20. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to... 198, uh, 198, probably. Oh, 197. So it's going up 12 at a time. Brilliant. Uh, 109. 209. Uh, 2, 2, 1. 2, 3, 3. Wait, yeah. Uh, two, two, four, five, two, six, seven. Nope. Two, five, five. Two, five, five. Wait, that's not right. Two, five, seven. Two, six, nine. Um, I could have just done this as a mesh of blender and arrayed it, but I don't know how many tiles I needed. Uh. 271, 281, and 293. Yes, perfect. There you go. Let me move that. Oh, wait. Yeah, that needs to not be coming out of there. There we go. So yeah, the gap here, the bed is actually not central, as we can see. Should be more like, oops. Should be more like, I'm still not moving everything. Uh, same with the light up here. And I should probably move that one too. Uh, yeah, because that's coming over to there, so it should be like... 
there that's more central and they could say they could be central of these things like that there you go okay 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 uh i've not got gloss oh okay so that's the gloss material i don't like that Yeah, I like that. I think this needs to be slightly raised. Uh, oh, you're doing button panels. Looks nice. Okay, that bedside table is in the way of the door. The yeah, I was thinking that. I like... Do I just get rid of it and do that? I think it looks weird with one bedside table. No, I appreciate that you said I don't know if you said that. You know, that's actually a really nice thing to consider. Because obviously, if you was paying full attention, I could have said it and you're just like repeating. No, it's really nice when people actually don't fully make the assumption that um, I haven't mentioned something yet. I know it's a really small thing to be uh, appreciative about. But yeah, it is, it is nice when people do that. Like facing this way to hit those more. Maybe I should pull it back more and do something more like that. And then have this one. I know it's like not mirroring the scene, but definitely this should be more central, right? As you walk in from the door. I've never. I've been watching with no headset, so not heard a lot. But all right, X was uh, gone to sleep now. Right. This is be tough. Wow, I'm surprised. How tired it is in here. But how lack of tiling it is in here. Huh. Yeah, so it's not enough, is it? Everyone recent? Uh, walls, there you go. Come up this time. Uh, so, don't want this. Don't want this. So, just want this, yeah? Yeah. Scale that up. Simple. Easy, mate. The, the thing is... Oh, you could sit here. It's fine. I'll say, I, do I need to bring this forward more? So that line is actually there. Similar with that. There you go. Similar with this and this. I should probably put those more aligned with actually... There you go. Now they're all aligned. Perfect. Looking good. Oh god, what's going on there? Oh, is it because I re wait, that's still not tiled enough. Did I wait, did I re-import? I don't think that's tiled enough. There you go, it's a bit better. I wanted to make it so when you're far enough away. You don't really see the textures like that. And then when you get close, you start seeing them. Compared to that one, it's still... I don't know. Whoa! What's that? Oh. Oh. Whoops. That's a mesh that I had hidden that I forgot about. Because you should always click selected object only. There you go. 
I assume that's why the reflections were going weird as well. I hate that the reflections just don't look that good. I mean, you shouldn't get that close to the mirror anyway, and when you watch, look at them from an angle, they'll look really good. But as soon as they're not from an angle... Like, it looks alright from here because we're far away, so it's not that big of a deal. The only thing you need now is like a little something here, like a notebook or something. Pretty good though. I just want to make a bed and not have this as my uh, lamp. I want to make my own lamp. Have I got my own lamp? No, I've only got a bedside one like that and I've got this. Uh, I will put a glass next to the bed though. I should really just assign the glass to that. <laughs> yeah, so that way I can just drag it in whenever I want and it'd be good. Wow, this looks tiny in here. Is everything in this room just scaled more? I should have a character model. It looks, wait, yeah, it looks fine in here. Oh, I guess it does look kind of small in here. Hold on a minute. Because, like, look at the banana for scale. Yeah, not too bad. I still think it needs to look a tad bigger in here, even though it might not be matching everyone in the house. We don't care. We're not actually going to walk around this as a character. We just want it to look good in pictures or in videos. Pro tip, don't care about scale uh, too much when you're just doing something to look cool. Have you seen animations when they like stretch people's arms really long because the angle you're viewing them from, you don't see it? Put the water dispenser on the fridge. But in the water, all oh, right. Oh, what you think? Oh, there's already one there. Yeah, that's about the right size. Although, oh yeah, because it would push that back technically. So yeah, that's about the right size. Size, 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 size. size. Oh whoa! Why is it what? How did he texture it? Oh, because the bottom he's not got a texture on. I have, I didn't make that texture, so does it look like with. Black holes. Whoa, shiny black holes. You can change the color of the plaster, yeah. Jesus, no reflection in color. Yes, yeah, so, so a good thing I uh, want to explain to somebody. So, uh, somebody said, but if you've got something more reflective, it will bounce light more. Yes, in real life, in Unreal with Lumen, it makes no difference. Look, super reflective. Looks is not bouncing any more light around the environment. Super matte. In fact, it looks like it's bouncing more light because the ceiling receiving it. Yeah, it, reflective materials don't actually bounce more light around in Unreal. Well, not in Lumen anyway. It has no bearing on that. It's all about the color of the object that bounces that lighting around. Again, let's uh see that look super shiny white. Not bouncing any more color. It's actually pretty important to know that, to be fair. But look at it bouncing. Oh. It's amazing how it makes it look because it's bouncing that light around. I'm terrible at getting good like yellow cream color. It always ends up looking more creamy. Did you have more lighting bounces in settings? I'm fairly new. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'll show you what it's like with no light bouncing. Oh, whoops. White. 
So this is what we had before. I could uh, reduce how white they are. Oh, but that looks too gray now. Oh, that's interesting. What a weird look. Yeah, it's because the walls are white. It's bouncing so much lighting around. I wonder if it bounces more if I make it like extremely white. No, it doesn't. So you reach a certain point on whiteness that doesn't seem to increase in bounces. That's very interesting. So yeah, if you go into a, your light source, in my case, my light source is called... It's like a little plug-in one, Sun Sky. Um, but if you go to the directional light, this combines them all together. In here, if you turn this up, you obviously just turn up your light in general. So if we turn it to zero, you know, we're turning up all the lights. Oh, except apparently we're getting a little bit of light bouncing there. I think that's from the uh, thingy there. Uh, we're having it at one at the moment, which is like this. Uh, as you turn it up because of all exposure, it should slightly uh, adjust, but we are looking at about a value of one. So about here. I think that's about right. But if you scroll down to here, indirect light intensity, as we turn that down, it will stop bouncing light. So this is bouncing zero light. It's hitting the surface, no bouncing, which is why it looks pitch black. Uh, by default, you can turn it up to six max. And it'll look like this at four. Looks like this, a little bit darker at the back. Two, a little bit like that. What I don't get, and I was talking to someone about this before, is why up here... Oh, well, I don't know why it's all adjusting. That's bright too. That's got to be from this. No, yeah, look. Why is that part bright? The, the lumen's so weird and janky, in my opinion. I wonder sec if that's coming from in here. Now it's not bouncing anything. But yeah, I have mine at about... Well, actually, look. It's already... It's kind of... The old exposure's kind of built it back up. It's got light slightly shining through, look. So the old exposure's turning down. Uh, I've got mine at about four. But you can go above six. So I can go, like, 20. And you'll see, like, loads of light bouncing. Super bouncing light. So, it's Dad's personal preference. I feel like this needs to be smaller. I feel like I've got a little bit scaled uh, too high. Oh, I obviously don't want to see the edge of it, though. If I see the edge of it here, if I move that over and slightly scale it up. I mean, we technically don't need that, but the problem is I turned off fog, and the, what fog does is it turns that off. It, but when I turn fog on, I was having weird issues. Oh, it's got this video. I was having weird issues where with it on, you're getting like this really... Look at the reflection. Oh, actually, it only does one like this. Look. It's... You can see it here. I probably look better on a full screen. It's like flickery. Especially in here. See it like sort of flickering. When I bring that back and turn that off. Oh, actually, it doesn't look too bad with my with the thingy there. Oh, it doesn't look too bad with it there. Maybe I will leave it on. But then again, I, I was saying the reason I was leaving it on was so that way we could get rid of the uh, actual thing there. The buildings, but... Yeah. How's it looking here then with the, this on and off? Okay, it doesn't look much different now. I do like this though. I think this works really well uh, with the curtains behind it. I'm glad I saw that on an image. I, I, was, I wouldn't have even thought to change that. I've got these a little bit stretched. You can't actually see behind them, so I probably don't need them stretched. I probably could just do this. Do this. And hide the fact I'm stretching them just behind there, because if you look. Or I could just literally go like this and pull it in more. It does mean there's too much light hitting through there, though. You don't notice it, though, right? Yeah. yeah. That's the scene almost done. Uh, we just need to make a bed. And make... Uh, I'd like to make a little laptop, because I think that'll look really cool. And it'd be a nice little project to make. Again, we've got some terrible reflections, just because...
that's cool coming in though. We will do a video render of it when we're done. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I will catch you whenever I stream next. I've not been very consistent lately. I only stream when I feel in the mood to right now. So yeah, I will catch you guys then. Uh, remember to join the Discord if you want to talk to me or stream or if you want to ask any questions. If you need any help, you know, there's an Ask for Help channel. And there's also some cool people in the Discord. So yeah, I'll catch you guys either in the Discord or on the next stream. Bye-bye. Thanks for streaming, dude. Work is great. Thanks, man. Check out my art station if you want to check out some uh, other stuff I've made. So enjoy. Bye-bye.